Support for Let Me Book the Territory is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in man's below-the-waist grooming. Their products are precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped's performance package, the ultimate man hygiene bundle. Join over 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. And if my math is right, that's about 14 million balls. Dang, that's a, that's lot, a lot of lot balls, of A-Dub. Uh, you got to get 20% off and free shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code TERRITORY. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. For the- what in God's name is going on in here? What was that ruckus? Uh, what ruckus? I was just in my office and I heard a ruckus. Could you describe the ruckus? <laughs> Okay, here's what I would have done. Bro, no one cares what you would have done. Actually, everyone cares. Welcome to Let Me Book the Territory, the podcast made for smart marks and nostalgia nerds. Brought to you by the Embrace the Turn Up Podcast Network. And now your hosts, A-Dub. B-A. E-Ray and J-Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Turkey Day edition of the greatest professional wrestling podcast of all time and not only the greatest the most influential professional wrestling podcast of all time this is let me book the territory i am your pod tribal chief the pod god if you will the phenomenal a dub styles and joining me as always is the master of the pitch our new pitch man bap history quantum leaping from wrestlemania to wrestlemania i guess this weekend will be survivor series to survivor series B.A. is in yes, the building. What up, B.A.? What up, A-Dub, our tribal pod chief. We the ones. Got to throw it up. Got to throw it up. Um, but yes, B.A. DBIC, a.k.a. Black IRS, a.k.a. Your, 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 your mother's favorite financial consultant is in the building. <laughs> um, yes, just like, like, like Dub said, I guess I'm the pitch man now because I'm just out here Trying, trying to get our pod lifted, man. We trying to get get some noise out, make some noise out here. So getting lifted yeah, like John VA, Legend. Yeah, I ain't getting that lifted, but we we out here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't bust it like John Legend can, but you you don't want to hear that anyways. But VA DiBiase's good out here in these in these wrestling streets, man. I mean, you you know you you do all right though. You're not maybe not lifted like John Legend, you know. I mean, but he's just toxicity with a piano, <laughs> right? I mean, you could say that. Just, just that's, saying. That's, it's definitely definitely some toxicity there. And our homie E-Ray is currently fighting his way through some war games. He will be joining us later. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very, very special guest. You guys know him in the Twitter streets under Fourth Rope Wrestling. The homie Sean is in the building joining us for his first and definitely not last appearance on the pod. Sean, what's popping, my brother? <laughs> Yo, how we doing today, man? My name is Sean. I go by Fourth Rope Wrestling on Twitter. Glad y'all to have me, man. I'm really excited. This is my first appearance on any type of media, online, podcast, anything like that. So, you know, I'm really excited. Thank y'all. We are excited to have you, my brother. Um, yes, we are. Thank you. And at, as the listeners, they they know us. They know our bullshit through and through. So, give me, I just want to get some quick, you know, background on you as far as Give me like some of your your favorite wrestling moments from you know from childhood to now. Give me like two or three of them to give the listeners kind of an idea of who you are as a wrestling fan. I got a couple other questions for you to establish okay, you so, in these streets. Yeah, absolutely, man. So the first the first conceivable thought I can remember of wrestling for me, I was watching a, a SmackDown show back in the day, and I saw Jeff Hardy jump off a ladder. 
um the first you know the first things that i saw wrestling my my dad was a big wrestling fan back in like the 80s and things like that mm -hmm. uh always went to see the von erics uh we live in texas nice. so you know von erics wrestled in texas a lot yeah. uh he was class, a big dusty yes, Rhodes sir. dude macho man sting i watched a lot of wcw as a kid the reruns and things like that so it was pretty good um but as a kid to where i was actually watching it myself i would say i was a ruthless aggression era kid um, I, I'm only 25, so I did not grow up, you know, in the Attitude Era. I would have loved to, but the Ruthless Aggression was really my bread and butter as a kid. Loves Respect. it, love it. So, follow-up question to that. Have you seen the pictures of Zac Efron in the upcoming Von Erichs movie, and what do you think? Are you, are you excited I, about it? Y yes, I, act, I actually tweeted about it not too long ago, man. I saw the pictures of it. Um, it, I, it almost made me cry. I even said that because my dad, he, he passed away a few years ago. Um, so when I see the Von Erics and things like that, that's the first person I think of. And it, it almost brought a tear to my eye seeing that they're putting it together really nicely. I don't know if too many of your listeners are familiar with the Von Erics, but the image that they have in the movie and what I saw is very spot on for what the Von Erics, you know, actually look like and what they actually went through. And then I even saw that they brought on, you know, one of my favorite wrestlers, MJF for the, uh, for the filming. That. So that, that got that. me even more, even more excited for that. Um, so yeah, that Von Erics, that Von Erics joint, I'm very excited to watch. Love now, Sean, is um is is MJF playing Kevin Von Eric? Is that correct? I think he was. I I don't remember the, the which which Von Eric he was playing exactly. Um, but I know he got casted. I would have to see specifically. I could probably pull it up. Got it. Only reason why I ask because I know because you you know you and I talk Cornette here and there on Twitter. Um, Cornette had made a comment. Um, this one, one of his less abrasive ones, just about MJF <laughs> not really um, being they, they, they whoever, whatever Von Eric he's playing, his personality doesn't match or look doesn't match whatever Von Eric it is. But in my mind, I was thinking like he's just trying to show his acting skills probably to, to sell it more than likely. So I wasn't sure if he had some background on the whole MJF. Um, who he is in this movie and all that stuff, but yeah, I'm excited. No, I don't. I, yeah, I don't have the background for it. I know the Von Erics; they were some pretty big boys. Um, so MJF, he's a little on the smaller side. With doing, you know, he's great, great technical wrestler, great in the ring, great on the mic. He's amazing wrestler. But for the Von Erics, he might be a little bit too small to play the role. Uh, I don't really know. Camera angles, I would, camera angles, you know? Exactly. That's what I was just about <laughs> to say. They might be able to, the angles, be able to yes, pull sir. some smoke and mirrors, kind of, and, um, you know, get the angles a little different to make them look a little a little more muscular and things like that. Um, but I think MJF is going to be an excellent actor. Don't think there's going to be any problem with him matching the vibes and the characters of the Von Eric. So, you know, I agree with some of Jim Cornette. Some of the other stuff is a little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you've never heard on this show. This is not this is. It's, I, I will make some Jim Cornette jokes here and there, but this is not a Jim Cornette podcast. I don't need that heat. Nor this. You know, yeah, we don't. Nah, that's not good heat. That's not we good. Don't, we don't want the problems. problems. We don't want the no, problems. We have all of that. Thank but yeah, no, it's, it's all, all about the angles. I think Vin Diesel's like 5'5", five, five, and they made him seem like he was the same size as The Rock. So exactly, yeah, it it made him look that's like a freaking easy. champion. It, it right. works. Um, but all right. Last question for you, Sean. So, of the current things going on in the professional wrestling world, what is your favorite thing that's happening right now? SmackDown, NXT, Raw, AEW, anything? Uh, two of my favorite things. Um, so, AEW is going to be first off. Uh, they got well, a few of my favorite wrestlers going head-to-head -head right now in that series of seven. Um, Death Triangle and the Elite. Pentagon Jr., one of my favorite wrestlers, hands down. Uh, and Kenny Omega, another one of my favorite wrestlers. So I actually, they're doing Winter is Coming about an hour away from me. So I'm actually Ooh. thinking about buying some tickets to go to that. Um, and then my number one is going to be the Bloodline. That whole story, I'm, so, I'm I, we the ones, bro. I'm sorry. We the ones. I, I actually, I, I got to go to WrestleMania. I got to actually see and witness Brock versus Roman in front of that my is, eyes and see the entrance is. and all of that. And that just solidified it. I actually spent a stupid amount of money to get some titles. I got a replica universal title sitting right to the left of me. So I'm a, I'm a huge bloodline guy. I got, I got a replica world title sitting right up under my TV. I, I understand fully. Uh, I, fully. I have an NWA big gold belt. Cause y'all know how I feel about this discussion, but I do. I on. do. <laughs> continue. Oh. We ain't going to get into that today, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, y'all got the big gold belt. Oh, 
you know so how talking goes. about that big gold belt that's being held by Tyrus right now. <laughs> no, not that. Nah, I did not that gold belt. We're not gonna talk about that. I was gonna say. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one that used to be the undisputed title in WWE. That that one, that big gold. Belt. Oh, we thought you was talking about the Funkasaurus. My bad. Yeah, I, that's no, what I thought you was talking no. about. No, no, Funk Brody, is Brody, on the road. Nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> no, sir. All right. hey, speaking All of right. heat, I don't need that heat either. That that man got some. He got some. He got some explaining to do. That I whole know. promotion got some explaining to do. Yeah, bro. I mean, as, as you know, uh, Sean, you being a listener, we don't talk about NWA here. We probably could, but we ain't here for that. We it's only we, we try to keep this podcast short and sweet. So we be I here feel for four that. hours I, probably. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, let's just get right into it. Um, BA, we've been talking. We we have not been showing SmackDown the proper love it deserves. I agree, um, um, especially with these Snorefest Raws lately. The last couple of weeks have been kind of questionable. I'm like, we got to show SmackDown some more love. Things actually happen on SmackDown. We do, we do. Just the way and we record, the timing it, doesn't play into it. But with it being home time. to the bloodline, the greatest faction of all time, we got to give it some ones. more love. Not my words, yours, but yes. <laughs> we are the so, ones, but... Mm. So SmackDown's doing this, this great cross-promotional thing where they're doing the SmackDown World Cup that corresponds with the World Cup being on Fox. It's genius marketing on their part. It gives them a way to keep mentioning the World Cup to people, to drive viewers in, but also give us a nice little tournament because we all know in wrestling, we just love tournaments. But it's looking like they're using this tournament as a way to get us to Braun versus Gunther for the IC title. I want to know how you guys feel about that. Sean, I want to start with you as our illustrious guest. How are you feeling about that being the matchup they're probably going to give us? So the the actual point that that's the matchup, I'm not too upset with. The one thing that gets me is they're trying to make Braun over as this giant baby face to the point of where they made Gunther look like a chicken shit on camera, which wouldn't have been a problem to me if, you know, they had previously done that or he's previously displayed actions like that. Just like, you know, uh, when Triple H was on his reign of terror, he was aggressive, mean, big, but sometimes he had those, you know, those chicken shit moments. Mm -hmm. But the fact that Gunther's never been that person and then Braun steps up and all of a sudden he's running away, that didn't build it that well to me. And it kind of took away the authenticity of it because, in my opinion, it would have went better if you had these two mean ass Goliaths go at each other and tear each other apart for, you know, 15, 20 minutes or something like that. Right. Da, what 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 are you thinking? Gunther, Braun, World Cup. Well, I guess it's not the World Cup. Braun's gonna win it apparently. Mm. Um, <laughs> I'm cool with the. <laughs> yeah, I know that. That, 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 that didn't sound too I'm, positive. All for it. I, I mean, I'm this is I'm trying. This is my positive before I spin it and just break it and destroy it and blow it up. So we're gonna start it where it's actually existing. Um, I was good with the. I'm good with what they're trying to do. Braun and Gunther, Gunther makes sense, but the way that they're kind of starting this out with Gunther being like a shit heel running from anybody, that's low key ridiculous. So, and I'm not gonna jump because I feel like anytime people like WWE makes any messed up, they're screaming for Triple H's head. But guys, Triple H is the Vince of all of this, meaning he, but he's not acting as Vince, meaning taking over these storylines. There's actual agents producing these things that Triple H delegates that stuff too. So before the, the the wrestling Twitter wants to come for for Papa H, y'all gotta hold these agents accountable before y'all just start saying, oh, he what is he doing? Letting Braun chase around Gunther and all this other stuff. It's low key ridiculous, but I agree with the, the thought process of that type style of booking, but I'm not about to throw Triple H under the, the bus for that though. Cause it's, A, it's just starting and B, he's not booking that part of it, guys. That's the agent's job, so. That's, that's my thoughts. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Um, that being said, I do want to introduce the quasi bad guy, the <laughs> the West West, the E Lee, if you will, North American champion E Ray. It's finally joined us. Is in the building. Overalls. He's been working on the farm all day, and he's here. What's up, buddy? Um, hello, gentlemen. This is my pack attire for 
all things greatness. It's like a fanny pack, but for for men with not vaginas. Um, <laughs> I am here. It is the quasi bad guy, the wayward son. And as always, I'm going to derail this whole thing because I hear what you guys are saying. And no, shut up. <laughs> Bron is amazing. <laughs> no, not really. I'm, I'm I'm joking a thousand percent. I just had to add some some spice to it. Yes, Gunther should not be running from Braun or anybody else. He should be able to chop one of his breasticles into his back. But as everything, and of course my favorite saying as of late, BA, do you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna give it two weeks. <laughs> my man. My man. Give it two weeks. You know what. You know what time it is. You gotta give it two weeks. That's the Triple H era. You put the stamp on it by saying, yeah, I'm gonna give it two weeks. Because I mean, we don't know where it's going. Gotta let it play out. Give it some room to grow. He typically sees the missteps and say, ooh, we, sh- uh, we kind of messed up there. Let's calibrate a little bit. So, I mean, I'm not too high on this Euro Intercontinental World League Cup of Qatar. I don't know what the shit is. I don't care. I'm going to watch it, but it's not that, again, it's nothing big to me. But that that's just my two cents. want to come in with a bang, but oh, I'll let you have that's it. Fair. That's fair. That's totally fair. Like, I'm of the opinion, I think, like, we could get Gunther and Braun, but we didn't need it from this World Cup. I thought this World Cup was a, At all. a good place to, like, maybe give you some of those interesting matchups you could have. Like, they gave us Sh- Santos and um, Shinsuke. Um I mean, don't get me wrong. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali was another banger, another classic they put on. But we have seen that match a hundred times, um, and I don't want to see Ricochet versus Braun at all. <laughs> I think if you just if you took Braun out of this tournament and just put Braun against Gunther at Survivor Series, no one would care. You just you put somebody else in his spot, and they're like, all right, cool. And you get to see some more interesting matchups. But that being said, Eray, you said give it two weeks. Um, Something that's been going on for about a month now is heel Ronda with Shayna as her muscle. Everybody talks shit to Shayna. They say, oh, say it to Ronda's face. They turn around and then Shayna chokes him out. And yes. I don't I don't mind it being the same thing over and over again because it's just kind of funny. Like, oh, you keep falling for it. Come on, Scooby. E Ray, what are, <laughs> how are you feeling about heel Ronda? Is it working for you? That's- I'll be honest, Hill Ronda doesn't do it for me, but Shayna just being choking people out, love it. It's it's never not funny. It's never, it doesn't get old. She did all of this, my favorite choke out moment. Of, like, I, I'm literally just dismissing Ronda completely, if you haven't noticed. Um, <laughs> my favorite so moment of Shayna choking people out would have to be when she took Kyrie Sane and she had her in like a suplex position and from there swung it and turned it into the oh, yeah. care for you to clutch and took I was like oh. that's literally my favorite Shayna match. I'm not, you know, guys if you've listened to this podcast before, you know I'm not that high on Shayna as everybody else seems to be, but that being my favorite match she's ever had, my favorite moment she's ever had. Please give her more random choke Janes out. to choke, choke out, out in the back. Love it, and that means less Ronda talking, less Shotzi gets a Shotzi, all that type of stuff, less oversized leather jackets. I don't need any of that. Should Shane should Shana. Shana go like full Anna J, like I'm gonna choke you out and then choke him out? <laughs> no, no, it's funnier <laughs> when it's like unexpected, like, but oh, uh, <laughs> best fair. I mean, it's, it's unexpected from Anna J because you just don't believe it'll ever happen, even if she puts you in a perfect. Perfect chokehold. Um, Sean, as, as you've been listening, I'm sure you've heard us just destroy Ronda at every single chance we've got, we've been given. What, how are you feeling about heel Ronda right now? Is it, is it oh, better don't, than don't worry. I'm, oh, uh, well, I don't like both of them as champions, first of all. <laughs> um, I prayed and I prayed and prayed for Liv Morgan's downfall every time she defended that belt. I swear to God, I have tweeted Enjoy about it. I told my wife about it. I've told my one-year-old about it. I just, <laughs> I, I did not like Liv Morgan as a champion. Dead? Bro, and Liv, then Ronda, Ronda's a little bit better. She's got a little more believable. It's a little more believable of a champion, but I don't like the belt on her either. I think 
they should literally just have Shayna Baszler beat other women's asses and choke them out in the back for no reason at all. No words being said. She's she's physically intimidating as a woman. She's built. She they, they've already made that character out of her. So why not use it? You're kind of wasting it at this point. Just having her bullshit around like just book her as a monster and beat people's asses like the shield used to go around just fucking people up for no reason just book her to just fuck people up simple as that choke them out break their fingers break their arms send them to the hospital boom you know wash rinse repeat next week okay all right so i gotta wait 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 wait. i have a question yes i have a question for you sean um with that said running that that gimmick for i don't know let's say four months or so how would you split them and have them go against each other? And would it be for the belt? Or how would you have that play out? If, if that's what we're going to get. Because it looks like we can't steer away from it. So given what we're given, how would you have that done? I would I would have at least Shayna in some type of belt contendership. Because I personally, I like Shayna Baszler. I think her, her NXT run was probably one of the best women's NXT title runs that, you know, still hold up to this day. No disrespect to, you know, Mandy Rose and nothing like that. But um, I would I'd have them split up however they want to do it. I'm not going to go specifically into the book. You know, I, I don't work for the company, but have them split up, put put Shayna in some type of contendership for the belt. And if she, they want to have her win it, I wouldn't be mad. I would honestly probably prefer that over having Ronda Rousey have the strap again. I'm just, I would just put it on Shayna, have her beat people's asses for a good, you know what, few months at least, you know, give her at least, at least three months on, on a title run before, you know, she loses it. And, you know, do it like that, man. Cause you know, give it a little freshness. You add a little freshness to the character, maybe some new Titan Tron, you know, uh, uh, images, the music is good. The The build is good. How she comes out is good. All of that. Don't touch that. Just give her a little more of a push, basically, man. You're wasting her. So, wow. new Titan Tron of just nonstop back choke out. Moments. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Like, you know how they did back in the You know how they did back in the day? Just people red face and spit just getting choked out. Like, you know how Taz used to put people in their Taz mission back in the day? I, I want yes. everybody to look like how Kurt Angle looked like, how he got ch- choked out in Taz's debut. Bulging. That's red. exact. I, I, bulging red just look like they actually, you got to question it. Like, that's how you know it's good. When you got to question like, oh shit, are they good? Like, did he put that in a little different? Like, yeah, that's what I want everybody to look like. Or like my white uncle uh, Ted DiBiase used to do with the million, oh. the, 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 the clutch. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Uncle Ted. He used to <laughs> throw that that million dollar Thanks dream given. in. Just, just. Oh yeah, man. You know, we just we had out money for, talk, instead of turkey. So he'll just have plates just of money talk just politics. sitting at the table. Oh, oh but yes, yes, fun. yes. That's all. Um, all right. So yes. here we go. So E Ray, Sean, I'm gonna book out how you split them up and how you get us to that match. What oh, you sure. need right, to you do. Is you need to put Ronda in the position to where she's obviously more technically skilled than someone, but someone has something that she doesn't have, i.e. E. Ray's favorite wrestler, Big Back Pose, has the <laughs> strength advantage. Hear me out. Has the strength advantage that Ronda can't necessarily overcome on her own, so she kind of needs Shayna. The build up to that is Ronda gets his win after win, but Shayna helps a little bit, but not enough to make Ronda seem like a chicken shit heel. But in the lead up to Ronda versus Big Back Pose, you know, Shayna ends up costing Ronda some non-title matches and Ronda gets kind of upset and Shayna's like, yo, without me, you probably would have lost that to insert random woman here. And then you kind of, you build it that way. And then at some point during the match between Big Back Pose and Ronda, Shayna gets involved. Ronda's like, get out of here. I don't need you, blah, blah, blah. And then Ronda chokes them both out. Smodge finish and wait, Rhonda chokes him. Ronda, Ronda chokes Excuse me. Shayna chokes them both out. Okay, okay. okay. I was about to say that was, yeah. Shayna chokes them both out, leading to a triple threat between the three of them. And that's how you put the belt on Shayna and protect Rhonda because obviously you want her in big spots at Mania and Survivor Series and Summer So you're you're, t- you're turning Shayna Baszler face. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. More tweenerville, I feel like. Yeah. More tweener tweener. Just, just more heel than the heel. Huh? <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, I don't know, bro, because I think people really don't enjoy Ronda Rousey that much. If you see her get choked no. out, whoever chokes her out is going to be a hero. 
You, I mean, you you got to you imagine yourself that. ever actually cheering for Shayna Baszler? Yes, yes over yes. Ronda Rousey, know, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. As a baby face, chicks. as a baby face. The baby faces don't have to be that, all soft and kind and oh, yeah. eat your vitamins. So that, that's my shit. thing. She, she'll like, still be nah, a tweener. Bro. She'll still be a tweener. You cheer for her the same way you cheer for Kevin Owens when he's power bombing his best friend on the ring apron. I feel like You're this like, is like a war. I just like situation. this person. This is like a Wardlow situation. You guys are dressing BA, up calm, here. Ba, calm down. We'll, we'll get to AEW. Great value. Yeah, no, 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 no. This has nothing to do with my with my thoughts about AEW. I don't AEW. like this at all. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying from the aspect of you guys got the person the the help essentially going over on the person that's that's hired the help is all I'm saying. Just like Wardlow. Well, I mean, you could have said, but Wardlow was going yeah. full baby face. Uh, and that's what y'all say. You know, had- dressing up. I don't think Shannon has to necessarily go full baby face. She just has to be tweener as in just like, I hate Ronda. Hey, y'all hate Ronda too. Here, cheer me beat up Ronda. But Shayna's still not a baby face. She's still probably like slap Shotzi in the face if she got a chance or choke out Natalia again because that just seems like the thing to do. Let me correct my statement then. This is how they should have looked Wardlow after he the power bomb symphony to MJF. You I guess. keep mentioning AEW. I'm just stop I, it. I, I'm I mean, not. So I'm talking please. about a character. We can talk. We all watch. We know who Wardlow is. Like I'm not act talking about middle like field. like middle Trevor. Field. I'm not talking about field. Trevor Murdoch in NWA or something like. We're talking about somebody we talk about on a weekly basis. This is the third time so. you mentioned NWA. Do you want to talk about NWA? <laughs> No, you have some and that was that that those comments don't count. Tyrus We're not recording yet. is here for everyone. <laughs> those, those feelings don't what? count. Do you get pissed off um, every time you turn on like Fox Business News and see Tyrus in the NWA title sitting there? Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> you brought this upon yourself. You did. This you, is what you did. Moving on. Right. You keep bringing up bringing up other products. I mean, we right. you clearly want to get to yeah. AEW. So full gear happened on Saturday, gentlemen. A lot of things happened. Um, Swerve slapped Keith Lee. Um, we found out the Lucha, not, not the Death Triangle and the Elite are going to have a best of 35 series that is going to end when we are all retired. Um, Praise much. <laughs> and MJF got the belt. They did the thing. <laughs> they did the thing. Um, they did the thing. Sean, I want to start with you. What was your, your favorite moment? Of full gear, because I know BA is about to go nuts as soon as I hand the microphone over to him. You tell me your full, your favorite moment. I'm jumping in front of you. Absolute favorite moment. I got three. I got three favorite moments from okay. there that I've been wanting to happen for a while. So first oh, of gosh. all, number one, they put the belt on MJF. Thank God. Thank you. They they've been needing to do that for a while. He's deserved it. Um, second was um, Death Triangle versus the Elite. Now, like I said, these a mix of the people in both teams are some of my favorite wrestlers. Uh, I love that they're finally starting to lean the Lucha Bros over to more more heelish heelish with Ray Phoenix using the hammer. Um, you know, the embracing packs, yeah. uh, embracing his ideologies and things like that. It, 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 feel, it feels nice. It feels nice. They need to be a straight heelish team with the aggressive theme that they got. They got like a fucking heavy metal entrance and shit like that, bro. When, you know, with the Zero Miedo and shit like that, bro. Like, they need to be a full heel team versus this baby faces shit elite team. And, you know, although it's the best out of seven series, I think they have enough versatility to where they can put on at least four to five, poss- possibly five, at least four unique matches that'll entertain each time you watch them. That's Will you fair. get a little burnout? Probably. Um, and then my third favorite one was um, Swerve slapping the shit out of Keith Lee. I think they should have been split up a minute ago. Um, it didn't get too it didn't get too burnt out, but you know you can see it coming for a while, especially you know with Swerve acting like ever since when was that he kidnapped uh, uh, Billy, Billy Gunn. Gunn. Ever since that shit, I was like, oh yeah, Keith gonna drop this nigga like a bad habit. So <laughs> yeah, that that those were my favorite moments from Full Gear. That's that's fair. Um, Follow up, follow up question, really quickly. What's up? Who wins the breakup in your eyes, Keith Lee or Swerve? Oh, Swerve, absolutely. Swerve's a piece of shit. He gonna win that, hands down. There you go. Mm. Just, just checking. Scum, just checking. scumbag. You know, I, I'm not an Impact fan by any means, but with the moose <laughs> shit, scumbag, bro, scumbag. Respect. Swerve fan. Nah, I, absolutely. I, I appreciate that, but yeah, I I agree with you totally. Like, 
yeah, Death Triangle need to kind of like move towards being a heel again. Because you can't be baby faces and start your match off by just mushing a guy in your face after yelling <laughs> zero fear in his face. You, you just can't do it. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm very happy that they put the belt on MJF. I'm just, I'm very interested to see where they go. I can see BA is like just ready to, just ready to dive in. BA, I feel like you have some I actually thoughts. Have a- I just have, I'm going to give my positivity. Um, and I was oh, going to okay. sing it back to E Ray okay. before I get into what I really got to say. But I was oh, going to say, I was very surprised by the Dinosaur versus Jungle Boy Jack Perry match. I, they, <laughs> they told an actual story in the ring. I got nervous when I saw blood a minute into the match. I'm like, oh, here we fucking go. Like, <laughs> first match. Already John Moxley bleed. flashbacks. Right. That's why I'm like, here we go. Who's going to be oh, licking you can imagine Pepsi Mox blood? Mox was in the, the back, like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you something. Let them, bleed. Let them bleed. Um, so I was sh- surprised that they actually told like a story in the ring. We get on AEW a lot about not being good storytellers. So I was impressed with that, that they actually told like a story and hopefully a conclusion to that. Because it's been going on for a long time with Jungle Boy and then the, the dinosaur. Um, so I was impressed by that. Outside of that, all the things that happened, like MJF winning the title, that was expected, should have happened. I was nervous it wasn't going to be booked appropriately, but it happened as it should have. And um, the the <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to keep it positive. Um, I will say the the elite and the um, the Death Triangle match that was a banger. Um, it was what it was. People were getting upset about their choreographed spots. I'm like, guys, it's all choreographed. Calm down. Um, like people were mad about the, the. Have you not seen a Bucks match? Brother, yeah, and these, I was about shit to say, have so y'all not long? seen a Lucha Bros versus Buck Bucks match? Internet, like this is what they do. They do these like choreographed like super kicks and like like they were fighting in an action movie. Like chill, guys. So it's great. Um, that was fine, but um, yeah, that's like pretty much all I got to say about positivity. I'm gonna swing it to E Ray so he can give us his positive thoughts on the show. Oh, oh, we, it, it has to be positive. No, I'm, no, we're talking positive. Oh, okay. I don't want. No. I don't want to. I don't want to take it that level. I'm, I'm, you're gonna hear my Negativ- negativity. Oh. Negativity <laughs> spreads faster. Let's go. <laughs> All right. right, but oh. um, I okay. I don't have a lot of negative things to say about it. Let's say that I will start with some negativity. My negativity being, uh, honestly, still positive that AEW knows how to make a pay per view. The problem is they have a fucking hard time doing week to week television to get us to that pay-per-view. So it feels AEW's uh, all out and full gear and all the gear load out 75, all those fucking (laughs) pay-per-views that they have. Yeah, uh, the guts and (laughs) splatter house, whatever. Glory (laughs) house. Glory glory. Oh wait, no, never mind. No, never mind. Something yeah. different. Yeah, I was like, I don't. Think, we have a guest today. Think. I have to be on my best behavior. Do you? Thank you. Guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's whoa, a listener. Hey, let's let's get it straight now. Let's get it straight now. I'm all for the chaos, bro. So if we want to start wild. I was. I'm the guest, so I was trying to be appropriate and nice and calm. Hey, but if we trying wait. to get into shenanigans and shit like that, I'm Where totally down. We can do all of it. I- I, I, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be decent, but if, if it goes there, it goes there. But yes, Glory does. House, no, duh. Okay. <laughs> Penalty boxes is awaiting you. You're three seconds away. I'm, I'm about to take you up. Relax. But <laughs> no, it's um, World Cup season. Red cards, yellow cards, or red whatever. cards. Fair enough. I don't watch that shit. I'm a mint <laughs> number. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, right. Hey, calm, uh, calm down, man. I'm, I'm Cody Rhodes. Hey, calm down. I'm watching that Cody FIFA Rhodes. documentary. They they throwing money around out there. Oh, I they ain't doing anything. They throwing around. <laughs> you go go over there yourself. You'll right. see what they throw. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, Molotov regardless. cocktail three on windshield. <laughs> right. But as I was saying before, the problem is these pay per views are like four hours long. They're incredible in themselves, but. The build up to get there is usually so rough and bad. We always ask the question, has Tony done enough to get our money? And to us, no. But we we still find out watching it. But <laughs> am I am I gonna pay for it? Not at all. Now, with that said, the pay-per-view itself, very fun watch. 
Um, I'm not as high as everybody else on the uh, the dinosaur versus Jungle Jack Perry match. It was it was cool, yeah. but I I think technically, um, I really like L- Luchasaurus, and I want to see something happen to him. And I'm still kind of got that Vince brain in, so when I see a a big ass <laughs> Jack dude getting his ass whipped by a fucking toddler, <laughs> it's really hard for me to like suspend disbelief. I'm like, then he tapped him out. I was like, I can't never believe in Luchasaurus doing nothing again. If he don't, if he just choke slamming Steve's for the rest of his career, <laughs> fine. But other than that, you you shouldn't win again. You gotta get your balls back, Daddy. Get your balls back, Daddy. I don't understand it. <laughs> other than that, though, uh, my highlight of the night for sure because everybody knows if you look at my name. Uh, my God, I love Kansas. I am a huge fan of Supernatural. Every time Dean Winchester and Sam go into some crazy fucking evening, when they do a recap, they play Kansas, carry on my wayward son. When that shit hit, I almost lost it. I jumped in my girlfriend's face, start playing air guitar. She's like, what's happening? I was terrified. And I went berserk. And I was like, sorry, sorry, I lost it. My bad. And I came back to my senses and watched a fantastic match. Support for Let Me Book the Territory is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Their products are precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped Performance Package, the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Join over 7 million worldwide who trust Manscaped with the exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. If my math is correct, that's about 14 million balls. Damn! Damn. That's a lot of balls, E-Ray. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code TERRITORY. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. That was my number one highlight. Second, and probably my favorite, honestly, was uh, I'm, I'm a big hater guy. Hater got the belt Facts. off of Tony Storm. And Facts. did not see that coming. I, I could be alone in this, but I was like, what? <laughs> like I, I didn't see it happening. And they actually did. The false finishes lured me in. Uh, the help, the early help. I'm just like, where is this going? The move sets, they, they're going back and forth. They're trading moves. And I was into this. This was like probably my favorite match of the night, honestly, <laughs> besides the Luchador match. But again, this one was the one that drew me in because I didn't expect what was going to happen. I didn't know what we were getting. They gave us time. They gave us a story. And at the end, they did the right thing. So all the elements came together on a really shitty build for us a new women's champion i'm very excited to see where it's gonna go even though i know they're gonna botch it so i i did want hater to win but like but i wasn't sure if they were gonna do it but i thought like man there's a time to just pull this strap off of tony oh that sounded kind of bad wow. yeah <laughs> no i'm here for that sorry <laughs> yeah <I> mean... <laughs> you're good uh, we'll uh, allow it all right <laughs> judges we'll allow it all right. Yeah, you good. You good. If there's a time You're to right. take that belt away from Tony and give it to somebody else in the meantime, because clearly they want to have they want Rosa to have a run. And if you ask me, it wasn't going well when she had it, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother time. But while she's still out, it's a nice time to put some belts on some people and be like, hey, hey, look, look, you know, look at all these people we got, you know, they've been champions. So that way you build that roster. And then, so when Rosa comes back and they're trying to build new people, the people they can beat to get to that title shot are Jamie Hayter, are Tony Storm, et cetera, et cetera. But that was just me. Um, anything else from, you know, full gear you guys want to discuss fully? Any? I, I'd, I'd like to ask. I want everybody to to give us give us some, uh, some, some takes here. Um, what was your most disappointing match or moment of the night? Because, Dub, yep, feel free to start this one off, but Oof, um, I gotta know. I know it, we we started with love and we gave him room <laughs> to grow, but it's time to give give some negativity. It's time to rip him to shreds. Time to rip him. 
time to give him some hate. Let me let me let me look through this card again. I, I, oh, well, I'm why are you ready. looking through it? I'm juiced. I'll say, why are you looking through it? Oh, yeah. I do Who, have to say, the last thing doing. that I loved, another unexpected. That's that's what I love, the unexpected shit. The shit I knew was happening. I was like, oh, okay, cool. That was fun. But the two things that I never expected, Jamie Hayter taking that belt, Samoa Joe taking that belt. Two things blew yeah, my that's mind. Fair. I didn't, I, I didn't right, see I'm, I'm with it. I didn't see the Samoa Here Joe we go. So, uh, with the two belts now. I don't know if I can call it a disappointment, but I will say my worst match of the night is obviously the match that has Sting and Jeff Jarrett in it. Because oh, Jeff Jarrett. Facts. Why does Sting have to jump through a table every single pay per view, man? If because I get a, if I get another Sting. Bleacher Report, <laughs> if I get another goddamn Bleacher Report yeah. notification that Sting jumped through a table on a pay per view, <laughs> I am throwing my fucking phone out of the window. You heard well, it every here time first. Sting jumps through a table, I get to say I don't know if y'all watched the Ric Flair's last match. But every Ugh. time Ric Flair took a bump, my heart sank, bro. And every yeah. time Sting jumps fucking 10 feet through a table, it just it doesn't make me feel right, man. Like, it's cool if he wrestles. That's not the problem. But, dude, man, come on. Stop taking these bumps, bro. How old is Sting? Right. He's, uh, he's in his he's early too... 60s. Biblical. Sure. Exactly. He's like 61, <laughs> 62. Like, bro, no, stop. 900. Bro, you got you got knees way past Derrick Rose level. Like, you just oh, yeah. need to call it quits. Not call it quits, but stop taking these bumps, man. I mean, he's 63. Calling it quits oh, might be my. a good idea. He can legally retire and get social no. security. <laughs> Benefits. Think about that. I, Think about I that. like Everything you guys are saying, y'all don't know Sting like I know Sting. He came to my kitchen one time, gave him a pocket knife, literally shred his arm off at a cybernetic <laughs> organism, and he started wiggling his fucking metal hands. It was amazing. And I was like, that's how you do it. And that was it. I was like, oh, okay, well, Skynet, whatever. I don't care. Right. Do please. whatever you need to. Don't sting. kill me and my girlfriend. <laughs> Take what you Every want. Every time. Like, he, he literally was in my kitchen like, I was like, okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then he walked through my wall, and I was like, oh, did Tony Schiavone accompany for, him? Like, like, someone has to pay for that. Was, was Shivani commentating over him in your house? It's like, <laughs> oh no, on he's my got bed. the knife. It's he's cut the fake skin off. Oh my god, <laughs> is that a cyborg arm? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But again. I'm here for it because that is the chaos when Sting takes a DDT and just jumps up. Oh. <laughs> That's the best thing. Ever. I know. Come on. I know you guys have seen Blade 2 where Blade beats the shit out of 85 henchmen. My <laughs> name is in the series. Duke, Bob, John. He's just biffing the shit out of them. And then next thing you know, <laughs> he picks a dude up, suplex or something, and he just pops up like. Whoa. That Sting, it is the best. Like, Sting, what happened? You just got, like, 3 d through a table. He just, it's so I egregious. I love it. It's so it's egregious. The, it, the only thing better than that is watching people like Darby <laughs> Allen just get murdered. <laughs> I don't know which That was a better. fun spot. One he jumped in the or the other. Arms. <laughs> oh Take them both. That was They're fun. so great. What was his, what's his name? Uh... Is that uh, Sokum, I Sanjay Dutt? No, or, that's not Sanjay Dutt. Singh? There's Sanjay Singh. 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 Yes, could not so think racist. of his name. Um, yeah, I uh, literally, he picked him up and said, get your ass out of here. And I was like, yes. oh, He tossed the... him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even the funniest smile. part, bro. When he did the dive oh, and just ricocheted off his chest like a, like right? a little <laughs> fucking like, tennis ball off of a brick wall. That shit was hilarious. I audibly like almost screamed in laughter, bro. Like that shit was hilarious. All right. So that's how why Darby could that does be the it? worst thing of the night. It was incredible. Right. You just gotta watch it from the right lens. You were looking too seriously. I'm you, like, you oh, know I me. You know I you know how much through. I love watching Darby Allen get beat up. But when you put when you try to make me care about a match that has Jeff Jarrett in it, <laughs> I'm already out. <laughs> it's 2022. He say slap nuts, so I get it. It's 2022. I stopped I caring about him in 2002. Well. I stopped Why caring about Jeff Jarrett matches black? literally 20 years ago. Why, Why is he, he still on my television? Black? Why does he have If Sting would have like no that. sold a guitar shot to the head and then Gorilla <laughs> pounded his <laughs> chest, that wearing I, the 
wearing the guitar. On his neck. <laughs> Still wearing the guitar. Still wearing the guitar. If he would have did that, that might have made the match a little shit. bit more tolerable to me. But other than that, man, no, that would have made the I'm match not... great. The only thing that could have made it better than that is if after the match, Sting cur- turned into Joker Sting from TNA. Let's just go all the way through. Right, might as well. You got all the the cast of characters are here. You might Why as well not? book it. Yeah, like, TNA from um, 2009. Let's do it. Where's Kevin Nash? Uh, <laughs> Black God. machismo, Jay Lethal. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> that, there you go. See, we're we're on the same page. That would have that would have been that would have been it. That would have been if it. If somehow this all leads to literally Jay Lethal doing a Jeff Jarrett impression, and now he just runs around as oh, Jeff that'd Jarrett. Be hilarious. I was I'm like, in. it was all worth it. I mean, that's all I need. I was like, I was telling my girl, like, look, this is the guy who does the the skit that we probably watch every once every year when he's just uh, having a woo off with, with Ric Flair. Flair. <laughs> so it's it's great. Or Black Machismo, you know, all the great shit. Now just be uh, Black Jeff Jarrett. Just be Black everybody. I don't care. <laughs> that's what we need. Bring him away from anything of like sensical logic because Jay Lethal's never win anything. In this company, he has to be like not Jay Lethal. So again, be Black Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett can then get retired by Black Jeff Jarrett. We never have to see him again, but we see a black guy wearing a cowboy hat and running around with a guitar and calling people slap nuts. He does the greatest hits of the guys we don't like, and we end up liking it. That's where I need this to end up. TK, but, I need you to give this man a blank chat, please. Let's do it. This guy might as well. That that that's that would be more entertaining than what they're doing with Jay Lethal right now. That would be supremely Absolutely. more entertaining. Yes, yes. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully I'll, the Booker of the Year books it that way. Uh, Booker of the it, Year. Oh, oh, that's that. No, really? no, no. That was that was that was a slight, Sean. That was because he was he was Booker of the Year in 2021 from the PWI. Tony Khan. Y'all knew that, right? Am I, I'm not. This isn't breaking news, right? No, yeah, I knew that. Okay, thank you, Dub. Yeah, E Ray, it happened. Sean, it happened. Yeah. He was he was Booker of the Year. I don't know how you are Booker of the I'm Year. I'm not even trying own. to think. Bro, about I'm not even gonna lie. I thought it was a meme when I saw that picture. <laughs> I didn't believe. I didn't believe like, it. He just I, edited I, his he, own. Yeah, bro, like the whole you like know, number one, like 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 uh like like BA is AEW or whatever they be doing or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> BA is all elite. Yeah, you could have you could have put Dixie I'll Carter there. Yeah, why we not done that? Right. Yes. Yeah, that has to be some elite. cover image. Uh, but my, are Stop we? Are we? Am I okay to tell you what I was most disappointed about now? Or is everyone, anyone else got <laughs> anything to say? Please. Oh, please, Good? please. Okay. All right. This is. Then y'all kind of already know what I'm gonna go into. If y'all been seeing uh, the, the Let Me Books Twitter activity this past weekend, but fact, there's two fact. things. I it ran. leads with the 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 fuck CM Punk chat chance. Um, it's, and it's not necessarily the chance. I get it. It's wrestling. Fucking yell what you want. I get it. But the way it was covered through the elite's little behind the elite masturbatory video, as Jim Cornette would call it, um, those are your EVPs of the company doing EVP shit according to AEW. Um, that's cool. I get it. Let's 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 book ourselves as the babyface. But what I don't like is the double standard of the diehard AEW neckbeard of like talking about this online and about how these yeah, dudes can do no wrong. Got an ax to grind. Exactly. But these were the same fucking people for the last, I don't know, eight years screaming for CM Punk to come back. And you can't tell me any different because everybody wanted CM Punk back. So what are we doing here? In the words of, of, the, of the great E-Ray, is it Uchi Wally or is it one mic? Like, make up your fucking minds, AEW neckbeards. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. I wasn't about to go off. But I, the double standard that people like to say me. when they point at WWE diehards and say, y'all do this and y'all cheer this person. They're just judgmental towards us. Y'all doing the same shit, AEW neckbeard. So, Pot, welcome to the kettle. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Jesus. Well... <laughs> BA doesn't have any uh, bad blood with neck beards, but um, oh, yeah, plenty, <laughs> I, and I'm here for all I'm of just, it. No, <laughs> he's like, I'll take you all on. Right, you don't have any money. You live in your mom's basement. Like, relax, BA. It's okay. It's 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 just some random faceless dog emoji guy. Like, it, 
it, it, it doesn't hurt you. But um, you're, you're kind of right. But I'm not mad at uh, the elite for that. Like the, the crowd, they're going to do weird shit because this is the same crowd that has those stupid feelings about everything. They wanted CM Punk back. Then they were like, oh, we're tired of CM Punk cutting promos happy. Oh, now we're tired of... They just get very tired because, again, this crowd is 35 plus. The average AEW fan is 35 years old. Um, it's It just is what it is. I don't like it, per se, but I, I don't blame the elite for it because that's what you're supposed to do. They run with the gimmick. If you're now being good guys, you're wearing all white and shit, Ugh. like you're playing up the character. You're playing into, oh, we we were wrong, guys. And the guy who would be here, he's not here anymore. So why not use his name to launch us? I Vice versa, it. like a heel would do in in that case. So I was like, I'm okay with it. I'm weird that the crowd just start, or I mean, not even the crowd. Again, it's a vocal minority. It was like four dudes in the audience, like <laughs> jerking up. Oh, wayward son. Like, fucking relax, losers. <laughs> But, you know, you paid your money, so there, there you go. But using the clip was a little funny little jab. But, yeah. you know, CM Punk had his little thing, his commentary thing that they showed on, that went on the Twitter's verse as well. Exactly. So it is what it is. True. Exactly. You're right. All right. All right. See, see him, I think, I think what was there, two or three clips. Like, he did this two or three separate times to where he was you know audibly taking shots back talking about oh well, you don't want me in the locker room i'm a bad influence and all that stuff oh, so like, on fight tv you yeah have exactly of MMA exactly you know? exactly bro so i mean it i mean all they right. didn't even directly say anything the, the fact that the, the crowd started that shit and they just put it on they fucking you know being the elite it's hey whatever all right y'all y'all this, is, what this is, is why we talk things out because i y'all exactly. giving me a different viewpoint of it because i was looking exactly. at it like these punk ass ungrateful fucking fans and then nah, y'all nah, like bring it up like well, he give it all my blood sweat and tears <laughs> nah because i mean like, i don't think i don't think any of y'all know cm punk personally i don't know cm punk personally no but i don't he know been phil. known exactly i don't know phil but but, but but he has been known from multiple sources to be a little bit of a jackass sometimes and you know if it smells like shit everywhere you go check your shoes so that's all i say on that <laughs> mm, that's yeah that's I mean, that's a, that's, that's a real smart. advice i can't i smart. cannot knock that at all sean um so i, I will i will back off neck beers this week but next week you motherfucking neck beers don't you no promises almost as ridiculous as when you walk into a department store in november and you hear all i want for christmas <laughs> how ridiculous is that y'all it's it's it, it, it's it's utterly ridiculous but me. i'm here to tell y'all it's never too early to play holiday music and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts fellas and you know why whether it's for a friend or friends in your pants you can make this Whoa. season to be jolly with manscaped do your little drummer boy a favor, fellas, and use that great old lawnmower 4.0 to avoid another silent night mm. in the bedroom. Mm. We don't want those. Mm. We don't want those mm. silent nights. It's deadly nights. <laughs> don't want that. Uh, so from there, add in your Manscaped top of the line shower products to have people thinking, like I just said, all I want for Christmas is you. Jewels. Because you know why, fellas? <laughs> Santa cares about his sack, and so should you. Look nice when you get naughty by going to manscaped.com and use our illustrious code TERRITORY for free shipping and 20% off. Because, fellas, I don't know about y'all, but that Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the one-stop shop for the man who deserves it all. It has everything you could possibly need to help deck them halls from face to balls just in time for mistletoe season. The Platinum Package has each <laughs> product from the best-selling performance package plus ultra-premium body wash, ultra-premium two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, and ultra-premium no ball deodorant. Like, God damn, like, I'm just, I can't stop. It's just, what else? Is they coupons for pizza for the night, for the date night, too? No, they don't have that. But it's just, it's just like it's just the gift that keeps giving, fellas. Right. It's wild, man. Hey, with that 20% off, you save. Oh yeah, you, baby. there pizza. you go. Actually, money yeah, in your what's pocket. What's that code? What's that code? One more time for the that, peoples. That would be territory, as in the name territory that's in the title of this show. Um, also on that good old lawnmower 4.0, 
you got the light. Dub talked about a little bit last week, but that 4,000K LED light is so you can light the way like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, baby. It's 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 illustrious, especially when you're in a darker area, so to speak, or getting to some darker crevices. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to use, fellas. And now that you've groomed that candy cane, it's time to make sure you don't smell like a reindeer with the Platinum Package Sour Products. I told y'all last week about the ball deodorant. E-Ray told y'all last week about the crop reviver that keep them balls easily fresh. So, fellas, mad jolly. Have your skin feeling hydrated and smelling fresh at all times. I'm telling you, you never know if you out here in these streets, right, A-Dub, when them ladies could come a-calling. So you got to stay ready so you don't got to sending out them ready. DMs talking about you up on this Thanksgiving holiday season, you better hit that oh, yeah. crop reviver one good time. Just saying. Right. Especially the day before Thanksgiving. Know. I know it's going to be hopping tonight, y'all. So that's all I got to say about that. Right. And jam, <laughs> for people crazy, that's looking for our, for our and stuff. For our one female listener out there, because we know the demographics, there's not a lot of y'all out there. But if y'all looking for the perfect stocking stuffer for your man out there, nothing better than the brand new body buffer, an incredible body scrubber that makes exfoliating easy and a lot cleaner than that old, old school, dirty ass loofah that you didn't had since 1998. <laughs> Throw that shit away. It's crusty. <laughs> get up and walk out of your bathroom. It's green. Probably. So please, please. Mess with the people that we mess with as far as that, that we bring these products to. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code TERRITORY. Manscaped. Get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Woo-hoo. Ho, ho, Yes, ho, sir. Boom. Ho, ho, right, ho. So- Guys, I, I got a question for you. We got we got a lot of AEW this week because you know we got to give them some time, give them some love. Um, mm-hmm. Sean, I'm going to start with you. Who do you want to be MJF's first challenger for the AEW World Title, and why is it Danhausen? Go. I want it to be either Danhausen or Captain Sean Dean. Why? Oh. Because Captain Sean Dean is what? The only person that has two pinfalls over MJF, if I'm not mistaken? That is correct, sir. It's either one or two. One or two pinfalls over MJF. And in the short amount of time that MJF has been wrestling, because he's been very limited on the matches in the, you know, you know, pretty recently, uh, the fact that he has two pinfalls, I would honestly say, other than CM Punk coming back to the company, which is a no-go, uh, he has the most rightful claim to that title shot first. And how Tony Khan loves booking random spontaneous matches. I can almost guarantee you that match is going to happen in the next four weeks or so. So look forward to totally it. Right. Look forward to it. Um, and then Danhausen is just the bullshit choice that I have because I've been following Danhausen even before he was on AEW. The gimmick is just money. Um, People buy his shit without him even wrestling a match. Uh, He had me almost buying some coffee a few weeks ago. So um, coffee housing, yeah, yeah, bro. It was a I forget I forget the company. I'm I don't I forget the company. They ain't paying me, so I'm not gonna plug it. But yeah, yeah. say say that twice, shy. Yeah, bro. So he almost he almost had me buying some coffee. So I'm like, all right, bro. That 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 gimmick is actually fucking money. So they should push that a little more in AEW as well. But we'll talk about that another day. Okay. Very caffeinated, very evil. Very evil, <laughs> very caffeinated. <laughs> Sounds like a match made in heaven. All right, um, Eraser, who, who are you picking to be MJF's first challenger, and why is it John Silver? Go. <laughs> I mean, because Johnny Hungy. Let's go. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm such a big fan of that guy, but I get, you got to get him away from the, the uh, gimmick. That that gimmick does nothing for them. Just break them up. It's over. It. it, it it's I don't think they want to because of Brody Lee. It's like they they keep it together. Like as we like, all understand it, them. but it's over. You're running it into the it's run its course. It was all. It was already there before he was there. So it again, it's okay to let it go part ways with it. But um, my my two choices. Number one, because it's my namesake, Ethan Page. It's all like ego. It, it has to happen. All ego. It ties into the the firm business. It only makes sense. Um, my only issue is that if that's his first, clearly he can't win. 
So that's that's a problem. It's like you're kind of booking yourself into a corner. You know you're not going to win. And I think Ethan Page deserves better. So I don't want it to be the first, but it just makes logical sense. They can jump him, even if he doesn't win, then circle back to it at a later date. Nice. Um, the other would be... Uh, I just had it in my brain and I lost it. Um, I, honestly, I, I no, nah, I wouldn't want it to be him either. Uh, I, I think <laughs> it'll have to be uh, Powerhouse Hops. Ooh, okay. Because, because again, Wardlow. That's kind of too obvious, but that's probably why they took the belt off of him as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like, mm, yeah. I'm Wardlow. I'm from Middlefield. There's only one Pizza Hut in my town. Fucking ah. Middlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you better whatever, stop repping Cleveland, man. Stop. They they Fuck still you. doing that shit. Angry. I know. Every <laughs> time I hear it's it, ridiculous. I'm like, disgusting. All right, B. Um, B. I'm gonna throw you, I'm gonna throw a curveball your way. Um, uh, who do you I'm want to see? I know. I know. <laughs> we'll switch it up. I need you to be a switch hitter on this one. Who do you want to see at some point? <laughs> <laughs> ba bats only from the right. <laughs> Oh, all right. Yeah, right. sure. Yeah. Or the left. straps from the left. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> um, yeah, so B.A., so who do you want to see eventually take the belt off of MJF when they ever, whenever he loses that title? And why do you want it to be Parker Bordeaux? <laughs> <laughs> I like baby that, Dub. I'm not, baby, baby Brock, Brock ain't, baby Brock hasn't gotten off the dark yet, <laughs> so I can't even do that. <laughs> baby um, Brock. Who I want to take it off of him, but won't right now, just because of how he's being booked in the like oblivion, is Stark Man, Ricky Starks, baby. Um, I would love to rock. see, I would love to see him get pushed into that space. But the way he's just getting booked, man, like just everybody whooping his ass, it sucks to see. Um, but that's who I would want to see that they would never put into that spot, unfortunately. Um, can I can I, I give you who I think is probably going to get a shot at some point? The person I th- sure. when I was going to get yeah. the fastball, Why not, buddy. All right, Why not? fastball. Uh, Brian Danielson will at some point have a meaningful title shot. Whether he wins, per the comments he made this, earlier this week about wanting to kind of finish his career up on the Indies, essentially, I don't know, and I don't see it. Daniel Brian Danielson having a lot of miles left on his career, considering the health stuff he's gone through. Um, so I think. It's deserved to want to see it, but I don't know if he wants to have a title run because he knows all that comes with a title run. But mm. I don't know. I would like. I would hope he would want just one last one. But that's who I would. That's the most feasible challenger after the events of Full Gear with Regal and the 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 mm. BCC breaking up. That's what I think would yeah. happen. Yeah, I'm out of time. I, I need to tell you this. Let's hear it, Ray. How should I put this? Softly, like no. a kid. Explain it to me like I'm <laughs> no. three. Like talking to one no. of my daughters, please. No? Okay. Brian Danielson never wants to win another match. <laughs> he wants to <laughs> wrestle everybody and lose. Go out on his back, like on his sword. That's his thing. He's like, I'm putting everybody over, which I think <laughs> he's getting a little too happy about it that he doesn't realize the more you just keep taking lo- losses like John Cena did on his way out the door, it's like, doesn't mean much because you never win anymore. We we're kind of smart. Smart crowd kind of gets it. Like, Ask oh, Hulk, it's gonna brother. be great for him to lose again. That doesn't work for me, brother. I know. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, be a little bit more selfish. Over. He's so giving, <laughs> and he's not. So that I mean, it, as great it'll be, I think we're gonna end up with a um, what, what's my guy's name? Uh, Daniel Garcia match of some of some sort mm. sometimes finest oh yeah him and griselda the buffalo whole kids entrance. Don't play. i can see it happening i can they see don't. it happening. i like it i like it so Probably i'm gonna i'm gonna like answer both questions months. i think mjf's first challenger should be lee moriarty out of the firm and here's why you continue that firm storyline but you also don't put them against the firm's heavy hitters aka guys you want to put the belt on at some point or a belt you put him in there with lee moriarty because then you can show off mjf's technical prowess as well like show like yo if this guy wants to go he can actually really go and then mjf holds that belt obviously because lee moriarty is nowhere near ready for a world title run no nah, frank ocean moriarty 
Thank you. <laughs> um, tornado from nowhere Ron near ready. Real. But the guy I would want to see take that belt from MJF at some point is nobody else other than Eddie Kingston. Because the story they <laughs> the story they could tell Whoa. and the emotion they could evoke from the crowd, neck like beard it. and non neck beard alike. You, can we get a freeze frame, a reaction shot of everybody? Oh, <laughs> it's like somebody when you said that, I just room, thought about, like, God I just thought about wooden jewelry and, and, and throwback <laughs> denim, like DMX gloves. Shirts. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. From a, from a story jeans. standpoint alone, just from how they could tell that story, I think it would work. Four X white tees. <laughs> With the slits in his eyebrows. I'm slipping. I'm falling. I can't. Oh, shit. Look, what man. is look, happening? Look, I'm stuck in, I'm stuck in 2004. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, man. You know. I loved 04, too. But, God damn. We've, we've talked about it. I'm not going to rehash the, the Kingston Dub knocks. is Eddie Kingston. That's why he, he's like, he's like, get off my lawn. I don't fuck with you new rappers. Everything is DMX. It's like hardcore drug dealing. You yeah, my pants is drugs. baggy. So like he's, <laughs> this is right. I say what? it all the time on my other pod. It breaks the turn up. New episodes every Tuesday. Drug dealer rap is always better than drug user rap. I mean, you're right. Maybe I'm stuck in 2004. But E, I I'm just saying from a story though. standpoint, the story those two guys could tell on the microphone. From a visual standpoint, though. Because that always that's the part that always makes the Eddie Kingston stuff fall apart. The visual. I, I love... I love the promos. They're amazing. But when it gets time to go in the ring and I got to see him pull off that shirt and I see that fucking listen, listen. Hawkster yellow listen. lined around that tank top, this whole nigga, like he needs a Baja. He needs to like have his belly strapped in like he just got lipo, like he's one of them Instagram models. Listen, to come in. Listen, I'm, I'm, not, telling, I'm not telling you. Eddie Kingston is going to have a long guy time run. for the HGH. I need him to get back. Allegedly. Because I just look like. <laughs> oh, shit. Alleg- right, allegedly. Allegedly. Um, Support for Let Me Book the Territory is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Their products are precision engineered for your family jewels. Manscaped's performance package is the ultimate in men's hygiene bundle. Join over 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. If my math is correct, that's about 14 million balls. Damn, that's a lot of balls, B.A. But get 20% off and free shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code TERRITORY. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Listen. MGH. That's what it's right. Listen, I'm not saying it needs to be a long title run with Eddie Kingston, but, you know, he could even lose it on a fucking rampage. But, <laughs> but that's not to say, like, no, you get them Just random the... matches, though. This is, this is where it's possible. Yeah. You will wake up tomorrow. You will wake up next Tuesday morning and see a, a dynamite poster and with MJF AEW versus dynamite. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie <laughs> Kingston for no fucking reason event. at all. Eddie Kingston versus for the <laughs> AEW championship. Like, you will, that's Excalibur. possible. What'd you say? I know you talk that fast. Is, but... It's very feasible with Tony Khan and his cocaine booking. Absolutely possible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he ain't winning though. That's all I'm saying. Like, ain't enough. A- It'll be a it good ain't promo. Enough It'll be some good jokes back and forth. Some shit that you can tweet it about. It ain't enough That'll South it. Pole left in Burlington South for Pole. this man to win. It ain't enough Averex on the shelves for this man to win an AEW title. Anytime no echo in over here. Never. Like, you imagine echo Unlimited. Eddie Kingston. Uh- and some fat farm overalls coming out. Please. <laughs> I want it. One I pant leg rolled I up. I hope oh. on the fight forever Sign game. That's up. like his like press B uniform <laughs> is like a overall <laughs> alt uniform. Sign right. me up. <laughs> alt uniform. Platinum That's like boo-boo he boo-boo jersey. Jersey. fight for New York. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Kingston wakes up and goes straight to Burlington for all his fits. And he's like, Still. Oh, gotta do this now. And I don't yep. like you. And he's like, and he, that, and that's his thing. Finally, he probably don't pay his uh, bills. On the, 
He don't pay his bills on the internet. He still mail in checks and shit like that. Or physically <laughs> goes up to the places he pays bills at. Could Eddie you imagine the AEW in Lailway, right world now. champion coming to the ring with some woo wear on? And some Outcast <laughs> Limited <laughs> jeans. He said woo wear. Wu Tang is for the children. And Eddie Kingston, too. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh my what, god! What you mean? Academics uh-huh. is dope. What you talking about? Not wear academics. No. As long as he don't have uh, any shady aftermath clothing or Snoop oh Dogg shady clothing. limited what? I'm, oh <laughs> shit! No, that's that's I'm almost okay. that's almost wearing them G unit tank top. The G unit yeah. tank top. You're right. <laughs> the G unit tank top. Man. See, I, oh, I got man. you guys all in man. just for the visual of 2004 Eddie Kingston. Rocking AEW I'm, I'm titles. Just, I'm just, I'm on, just here for the MJF jokes to Eddie Kingston and vice versa. Thank that's what, yeah. The that's really going to be the be best amazing. thing. The promos yes. are going to be amazing. The backstage segment segments are going to be amazing. And then the, the bell match ring. is going to be yeah. yeah. And then it's just like <laughs> eh. We're gonna make but, some food so, or something. Then that white tea gonna come you, off. You just put right. <laughs> you just put it in my mind. I forgot. So it could not. It literally could not be. A random Eddie Kingston versus um, MJF nah, it's gotta match be a bill. at the end of the it's night because it has to be yeah, the bill. To Otherwise, we don't get what we want. It's just like, what was that? That that wasn't it. Yeah, it we, like, we don't uh, even want the match. We want the build and we want the result, and that's it. Yes, <laughs> the match that's is it. the match is like, ah, oh, okay, I gotta go find something to do. Now nah, we want the build <laughs> and the result. <laughs> we, we're gonna get off of AEW, but that's kind of what we got. With MJF versus Moxley, the build was great. It was fun. It was them talking shit. The match wasn't what I wanted at all. I was like, "This is bullshit." I don't care. Yeah, because we all wanted Punk. That's why. Was at, no, who? Who? What? I was like, "Who?" Like, so was, the AEW universe <laughs> wanted Punk and MJF to say you can said have a final blow off. Yeah, I was like, I don't consider myself. Well, a- I'm, all elite. I'm, all elite. I'm not all elite. Yeah, 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 is all man. elite. I wanted. To yeah, see no, MJ I didn't. I didn't. Five, nah, I. I, I could not have that for the rest of my life, and you know, be perfectly fine. Maybe even better off than if it did happen. Um, no, but it's yeah, years I'm off good. Your life just by one. exactly. Yeah, bro. You know, <laughs> just, bust a couple brain cells, stretch some years. Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'm. You wasn't I'm, I'm super for a good bloody CM Punk promo or. Another scrum? You didn't want to that? watch him sure. miss a bunch of. Uh, moves I'd rather that he watch Eddie be Kingston do. smash liquor bottles in backstage segments in boiler rooms than watch another CM Punk promo with in him a fat farm hoodie at the world. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah, I'm good, man. Some Echo G. I'm good. I, <laughs> I can't even knock it. I can't even knock it. I get it. As a, to your point, Sean, like watching CM Punk come back, like you saw the. As they say, the warts exposed of CM Punk and oh, you saw the now. downfall. Oh, yeah, you saw the downfall. He, wasn't, it was, he it was, was beat up, man. He they was wrestling. If you didn't see it, Bobby Fish was telling you about it every single week. Oh yeah. I mean, absolutely. where's the lie? Bobby Fish wasn't wrong, bro. Like he he knows CM old man Punk wrestling is, better than anybody. So, I was gonna yeah. say Bobby old, Fish old man knows wrestling. all wrestling because he was in the very first match. He was there. He invented it. <laughs> he was in the very right. first <laughs> match. He wrestled. He was fighting. Was it Gorgeous George in the fifties? No, <laughs> exactly. No, Greco Roman. That was oh, him. He bad. made a my style. Bad. He is Greco. Like, he's Greco. Greco <laughs> he's the Greco. <laughs> the original territory. Right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Greece. Man. Let me book the Coliseum. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. Bobby Fish first watches Olympic. Gladiator and says, "This isn't historically accurate. I'm not in it." Right. right. There was no armor. It was just men, flesh, and lions. And by men, I mean me. All right. You got that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think it's okay to have, you know, whatever. CM Punk, I got the moment I wanted. Honestly, just that music hitting, the Him crowd coming back, losing yeah. their shit. It was a special feeling. Same, honestly, and we're not going to talk about it. We're going to get away from this here. But same thing I got with Soraya. I got the moment I wanted. I don't need the wrestling. I did not enjoy that match. I don't need her to wrestle anymore. I got the pop. I can see she's overwhelmed. She almost wants to cry. Maybe some ring rust and stuff like that. But I got the moment. I don't care what she does from here, and I don't need to see it. But 
Can that we, that's just me. Can we have the that, discussion that, about her yet? Or is it too soon? I was just nah, about to say I that. Get, I was just about to say. I had to retract an, okay. an earlier statement. <laughs> I had to retract an earlier <laughs> statement. I said, you asked me what was the most disappointing moment from Full Gear. That match was so disappointing, I forgot it happened. So Damn, yeah. The, I have to retract my <laughs> statement. That that overall was the most disappointing thing. Now shit, that makes that makes fucking the Jeff Jarrett match look like Omega and Okada. Like <laughs> that like that ma- it was bad. Seventy bro. stars. Tokyo it, Dome. Yeah, bro. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, that it match was, was it was clunky as fuck. I can't even that was knock shit. what you're saying, Sean. It was clunky. She was shit. she's not ready. She need she probably needed a few more months of training, bro. Something, man. There was still extra rust on that. I'm, I'm I think I she's was scared. That, she's a little scared still, a little timid. I, when your neck day. is on by fucking toothpaste and glue, it's like, nah, man. You MacGyver can't. MacGyver did that surgery. You exactly. You need a little more time. <laughs> Paper clip too. Make Paper sure, clips. like, I, you can't. Uh, you can't go to a hundred. <laughs> you can't go to a hundred doctors and ask, "Are you clear?" Ninety nine say no. The one says yes, and it's like, oh shit. All right, cool. Yeah, let's go. Like oh, that's a little dangerous. And the and I was even thinking that and seeing her wrestle just confirmed she really wasn't ready or at least she's too scared and she needs to drop that fear either one of those i can't tell yet i really fair, couldn't tell fair. or or excuse me i would say she needs to adopt a newer style um mm. i think there was because um, we've seen it happen before this is how uh stone cold the legend of stone cold because let's be real stone cold was a real fucking wrestler mm-hmm. in hollywood blondes he was a real yes, wrestler he was, he was stunning steve uh, was the ringmaster stunning steve all this shit about time he got to like after neck break <laughs> he was like hey bro you get a uh fast press you get some punches You'll get a stunner. <laughs> you ain't getting no other Beers. Rest moves. Call it a Credits. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like he barely fair, he just E-Ray. stopped walking to the ring. He wore he drove a four wheeler all the time at some point because he was like, I don't, I can't walk. You see, I got seventeen knee braces on. You only got two <laughs> knees. Why you need all them goddamn braces? Right, but man. He, he was barely operational. So again, Soraya needs to figure out. I guess what's a better workable style for her and then also i i want to say it was a chemistry thing because like brit can go but she don't have like the greatest matches all the time sometimes she has really good chemistry with people sometimes she doesn't this time it looked like they both were just off and that's fine i i get it I, so i'm not gonna put it all on just one party it's easy to do because we hadn't seen her in the ring for so long mm-hmm. but it just whatever it was between the two it didn't work they're probably gonna do some more shit run it back a little bit but i would like to see either her do a managerial role which i've always wanted to see her be a manager and not of uh two non-english speaking wrestlers like they did in wwe I'm oh like, yeah this doesn't Kabuki make Warriors. sense that was rough that was that bad was rough. so the, i would like to see something that rough. made more sense like her in the riot squad her maybe with um i, I don't know well El, elito though is gone so um I, I don't know something that makes a little bit more sense or kind of you know maybe not in the house of black that's a little too dark for her but she's more like punk rockish so something like that, her and Ruby Soho, because God knows she needs something to mm-hmm. help her out. Because Tony Khan, whenever she can breathe her nose again, threw her ass away. See. Yeah, but, I, I don't know. But, all right, E, but I, I, as you saw, I sent you a text. In two weeks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you that same question again. Can we have the discussion? <laughs> I'm, we will. I'm gonna give it two weeks, yeah, like you I'm always watching. tell me to do. Um, but that being said, fellas, Survivor Series is Saturday. Uh, yes, it is. Are you yeah. guys ready? How are we feeling I'm, about the I'm, build? Are we excited? Are we excited for Survivor Series as a whole? You I really am. <laughs> I, go, go ahead, guys. I'm, I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, oh, I'll okay. take it. Uh, Sharma, you excited for Survivor up. Series? How, how are we feeling Man, about it? Yes. And the one of the really the main reasons was I'm really fucking surprised how over the brawling brutes have gotten. When they first were put together... I did not expect them to be like this. Like the past couple weeks, they've actually appeared on TV. The pops have been actually really loud if you listen to them. 
unless that's you know piped in music from production i don't know but people seem to actually enjoy them so yeah, seeing was, them yeah i was at smackdown in toledo um, when they opened the show when like they kayfabe injured sheamus so he could go get married no nah, yeah the pops are real now their pops are real and they're loud yeah it's that's what i thought it's because of sheamus is like resurrection literally yeah, Love this yeah, that. this brought this brought him back and elevated two other people at the same time, which is pretty good. And then it's probably a perfect match to put them against the entire bloodline like that. And seeing Roman Reigns in a War Games match is going to be kind of weird. Wait. It's going to be something different <laughs> to see. That's that's all. It's going to be something different. And it's to see. safe. Let, let's let's be real. It's safe because, like, yeah, you can have them go against each other. They can win. They can lose. It doesn't matter because it's War Games. It, it's not like oh a belt is on the line or something like that. So That's this the is the time it, where you man. can actually build. I was even thinking if you yeah if you're gonna take the belt off of Roman, this would be the perfect time to start the downfall, just the slow decline. Have to somebody take. in the bloodline take a pin and just start it right now. It's perfect because then you got the Royal Rumble in what January? Yep. I think it's mm-hmm. gonna be a perfect timing to start it right now. So by the time Mania comes, he's either dropped the belt or he'll drop it there. Okay. okay. Um, so, are you are you still on? Because I mean, I think everybody was on Sami Zayn being the guy that gets the excommunication and starts the breaking of the bloodline. Are you still on that train of thought, or have we actually switched course to it being Jay? And they're like, oh, now you really got to choose some family stuff again. Mm. I started to lean towards Jay, honestly. Because Sammy would be, it's the too obvious choice. That it's That's pretty much what it comes down to for me. Because it's the foreigner, basically. He's the only one that's not blood. So it would either be two options. Uh, Paul Heyman snaking the bloodline and breaking them from within slowly somehow. Or Jay, because Sammy's just the too, it's too obvious, honestly. Okay. And he's too good. Yeah. He, he, All right, we're we, we going we gonna to get there. We're going we gonna to get there. All right, so we're going to do some predictions. Um we going to start with the – we got five matches on the card so far. I, d- I doubt they add another one. Considering you hear that, Tony Khan? Five matches. Five. Just five, five matches. Not 13. Five. Right. Where I see people In tweeting, and I'm fighting sleep right now to stay awake. Like, it's ridiculous. But continue. Yeah. I tried to In download and out, the pay-per-view, and like it took me like an hour. <laughs> that shit. It, like, bro. It, it's, it's rough. I, I worked. I watched it in pieces. It was like part one. I'm, like, I'm just gonna wait. So we watched it's ridiculous, anime back in man. The day. You shouldn't have to watch wrestling Fact. like that. That's why I'm used to it. I'm like, oh, fifty dollars. Psych. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Where my link? Hey, hold Links. on. Right. Give me the uh, link. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go, guys. So first up on the match card, we got United States title. We got Seth freaking Rollins, Bobby Lashley, and Austin Theory. Sean, as our guest, I'm going to let you pick first. Give me your pick on that match. What I think will happen is I think they'll put on a decent match and Seth will retain. What I want to happen is I want Theory to go ape shit on both of them and win that belt back. And it'd be just hilarious and watch people rage out. That's what I want to happen. Oh, you really here for the chaos? The chaos. I, I want to see. The, watch the I want to see it burn the fuck down. Like I, I want to see it all. No pun intended. That's that's so. that's that. Yeah, yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. I like that. All right, BA, get, give me yours. Who you got winning? Since that I kind of called this last week, because uh, as you would say, Dub, uh, BA was right this time. Um, Never heard that one before. That was terrible. right. It's real original. I know, Weird. right? Ew. Right. <laughs> Basket it, E Ray. Basket right. the glory. That is BA being right. Oh, um, well, I don't want to walk that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will say, ah, uh, you got to keep Seth the champ right now, man. He's like he's and it's. And it's gonna happen by the ways of means like Bobby Lashley like just beating the shit out of Ali, and then Seth just no, no, see no, no, it no, happen. No, 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 theory, theory. Ali's not in this match. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. They, so they beat him up enough the past or, three weeks. Or will he be? Correct, correct. My apologies. Yeah, he, he on injury reserve right now. Can he even um, walk right now? 
Nah, but he'll show up still on Raw next week. Get his ass kicked by somebody right. else. Tiger, uppercut. Tiger, <laughs> Tiger <laughs> uppercut. <laughs> um, right. Uh, it's going to... If they're gonna book this out a certain way, then it's gonna be Bobby kind of beating up the sh- beating the shit out of, of Theory, and then Seth sneaking in and getting the pin on Theory to keep Bobby still strong. Um, mm-hmm. That's how I think this all breaks down. Okay. Seth gets the pin over Theory. E Ray, give me give me your prediction. Uh okay. I'm I'm going with Seth is going to retain, but. Because Seth is now playing this more so babyface role, it seems like what they're leaning towards because he's just so over. Um, I'm going to say it happens by way of interference from the aforementioned BA said uh, Ali. Ali comes in, pesters, bit buzz <laughs> around Bobby's like head. It. Bobby swats the shit out of him and he just goes on a rampage and beats the hell out of him in the crowd. And then it just leaves Theory and uh, and Seth. Seth hits him with the stomp. Bam. And he retains. And then he gets out of there. Ooh, yeah, he does his little singing singing thing. And then Theory goes crazy. And then maybe Theory attacks Bobby or he attacks uh, Ali or what's remaining of Ali. Because I'm, I'm assuming Bobby Lashley is going to be pissed. He's gonna throw his ass into the crowd. He walks, storms away. Then, literally, unhinged uh, theory goes in there, picks the rest of Ali up, beats the shit out of him too. Okay. I'd love it. I'd go crazy for it. Keep Seth strong. Keep everybody strong, except, except for Ali, because he's <laughs> yeah. except Ali. That oh man. Hey. Yeah. You know, E. I agree with you fully. I I kind of think that's close to how it's gonna go as well. So I'm going Seth as well there. Um, next up. We got AJ Styles of the OC versus Finn Balor. Second time this match has ever happened. Um, of the judgment. Before we get to this match, I just want to say, hashtag a was right. Because oh. not even 24 hours after we recorded our last episode and we said Mia Yim needs to be in full gear, did they decide, hey, we got to put Mia Yim in full gear to join the OC? What it went to the pot, of course. Dove was right. Yeah, everyone knows that. We're the most influential. You said it when we wrestling. started. Most influential, man. No surprise to anybody. It's crazy. But all right, guys. So AJ Styles, excuse me. Finn Balor won the first time they had a matchup a few years ago when AJ Styles had to sub in for Bray Wyatt when they were going to put Bray Wyatt in the dress. But that's a whole other story for a whole other time. Oh, um, e Ray, I'm going to start with you on this one. Does AJ Styles get his get back in this one and Finn Balor take the pen? Um, Finn Balor and the Judgment Day lose a lot. I don't like, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's very weird because it's like they're not, they're supposed to be like stronger bookmen. And honestly, and correct me if I'm wrong, but let's say three weeks ago, none of us seen it being the brawling brutes in the position that they're in right now. We all thought it was going Judgment Day esque or something like that. Um, yeah. it's weird now to see that they're only person we knew was Drew kinda, was gonna be in that match. That's fair, right? So it's like, okay, that's interesting. We're like, who is who are they gonna use for this? And we figured the bloodline would be in it and KO or something, but yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that they got elevated. And Judgment Day has just kind of been in a holding pattern. But Rhea Ripley, um, somebody should buy her like some free visits to the chiropractor. <laughs> uh, maybe a couple massages or something because she is doing a lot of fucking heavy lifting for that squad. My she God. is incredible. And everybody, I, I mean, I like the, the one off priest shit that he's a yeah, judgment. <laughs> I'm the man. Oh, right. I love that. Right. Stand up. Yeah, he's, he's just so deep. And of course, like, I think everybody's playing their part, but Rhea has. Like just hit a rocket and she gets it right she now. She is and judgment it's, day. She's synonymous yeah, she, with the stadium. Rhea's ultra instinct right now. Her. She she's on another level. Yeah, because she's doing stuff without even thinking about it. It's amazing to see her work. So with that said, I still think um uh, I feel like it's gonna just come out into like some type of goofy ass brawl between them all. But I would I would hope they uh allow Finn to get the pin. 
but I feel like AJ Styles is going to beat Finn Balor, and then they just have a brawl afterwards. Okay, BA, what are you thinking? Um, I want to give, I want AJ to get the dub because he hasn't won a premium live event in God knows how long. I think 9-11, basically. So, um, ah, but to E-Ray's point. Are you saying he won against the Plains in 9-11? I did say that. <laughs> I was like, what are you, what are you trying to say? It's been a long time. Like, That's I don't all understand. I'm, the, I'm, the, not, oh, getting into, I'm not getting into 9-11 happened. conspiracy theories. Um, I was like, what? Um, AJ Styles did it. Like, what is it? I, I don't know what's happening. If there's one wrestler um, that believes with 9 11 conspiracy theories, it would be AJ Styles. It's a, AJ Styles. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, yes. I was, man, I no couldn't agree more with that. Um, <laughs> as far as Judgment Day, E Ray made some good points about them just not being booked strong as they should be, being a heel, shit heel faction. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to take Finn. But it's not because of Finn. It's because of Rhea's involvement in the match. Or her sick and dime on somebody. I was going to say, nobody so giving yeah. Dominic no love? Like, come on, man. He's, saying, doing, he's doing his best work right now. That's 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 a very low bar, no. Doug. That's not this. <laughs> <laughs> I think this I can step over where kid? I'm sitting right now. Yeah. Limbo. Terrible. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I started exactly cracking either. up on Monday when, what was it? Priest was like, all right. So, or whatever the fuck he says. And Dominic, Dominic was like, yeah, rise for the judgment day. I lost it. I was like, yeah, that too. This kid gets right. it. He knows it who he is hey, now. Hey, hey that's, that's, tell my respect. daddy. He a deadbeat. I All give right, you that. Bye. Like, what? Right. I was like, God damn it. He doesn't have to wrestle another fucking match. He gets who he is now. It's so Hopefully funny. Hopefully he doesn't, Dub. Um, wow. unless, unless it's on wow. NXT. We can only um, hope. Level up. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Against you said level up. I was giving him at least. I was giving him at least two point oh. You you took him to level up. I don't know if you <laughs> Bring my, back two oh five. Put no Dominic in my NXT. Right. <laughs> See, I said level up. Oh. I said level up. I mean, I wasn't trying to dog the kid. The kids wrestled on Raw, SmackDown, and real life pay per views. But he's anyway, also he's yeah. wrestling on WrestleMania too. But again, level up exactly. Against, against he's also right. related to the against greatest Hank's security guard of all time. <laughs> Nah, yes. I need, that's yes. the only reason why he's done the other two things. Hey, hey, nothing hey, else. Hey, nepotism. Hey, nepotism. Message, you know, <laughs> helping out black and brown people. It's a beautiful um, thing. Yes, I agree. I cannot, I cannot agree with you more. The the black and brown, the black and brown piece of the dub. Um, but Finn wins because of Rhea's involvement, and then uh, Mia Yim getting like Who? trying to help. No, her they name changed is her name Mia back, Yim, E. Again. They changed it back. Change it back, E. Ray. Nope, no, we're not doing it. We're not even going to yeah. discuss it. No, nope, we're not no even going to bring you. it up. No, we're not yeah. even going to bring it up. They got they, rid of the Korean got, word for crazy. Bullying yes. works. Yeah. Bullying works. Bullying works. They, yes, it does. It, yes. It took Big them fact, less than 12 Sean. hours to pivot. They figured it out. <laughs> right. Right. Trips was like, I'm not about to TK this. I know what I'm wrong. I'm not going to force it. That's probably but, never mind. I, yes, hey, whatever. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was on. Trust me, that was on the topic list until they until they pivoted back. I said, "Oh, okay." They, they yeah, see, Trips, Trips, Trips is, he's, you got it, Chief. He's an adult. He knows. He knows when he's wrong. He went mid fought, but yes, um, Finn's gonna win because Rhea's involvement is gonna be stronger than that of Mia Yim. And that's the main. Reason. All right, Sean. What, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? I want AJ to go over just because, like uh, like B.A. said earlier, he hasn't won shit in a while. Uh, and that's a waste, bro, coming from somebody that watched, you know, damn near prime AJ, not prime AJ Styles, but a really good AJ Styles in TNA. Short hair. It's kind of sad to see what they're doing with him right now. But knowing what they do with the judgment, they like to give the judgment day them real sly bullshit wins. So with Rhea carrying the entire faction on her back, she's she's going to affect it and Judgment Day are going to go over. It happens every fucking time in the important matches. There'll be there'll be jobbers on TV, but when it comes to fucking pay-per-view matches, bro, they're they're fucking DX they get, like they they're in the scumbag they victories. don't lose. Yeah. Bro, yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah, but, like it, but it works because like they're booked hell. as the scumbags, so when they win, they want you to hate the way they won. They don't like when they're booking it out. They don't want you like to see the Judgment Day win and say, "Damn, that was a great match," and that be what you remember about it. Even if it was a good match leading up to it, the result, if they're gonna put Judgment Day over, always has to be 
scumbag. It has to be on oh, that fucking kid Dominic or that that devil Rhea. goddess Rita Rhea doing some crazy shit. Whoa, Power Rangers? <laughs> ah, the Power Rangers. Exactly. Right. I don't know. Exactly. RP. RP um, Tommy. David Frank. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm going with Finn Balor for that same reason. They're gonna get some scumbag victory. Finn's gonna end up hitting the coup de gras, and AJ Styles is gonna take yet another pin on the premium live event, bringing the streak up to like <laughs> 25 premium live events in a row. Which good for him. Like still getting years. booked on them, still getting those checks. Good for him. And let's not forget at one point he did walk into WrestleMania as world champion. And he is kind of up there. But he's taking the pin. All right, next match is the match I'm sure none of us care about. Shotzi versus Ronda. Ugh. I care. Next. I care the most. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm a Shotzi guy. I don't care. Shoot her back down to NXT. I hope Ronda. Like, this match cannot be good. It will not be good. <laughs> no. Be, but I'm Two hoping it's match. so bad. It's going to be Cheeks. Not good one, In more dude. ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> Bad cheeks, flapjacks. Well, I, <laughs> I'm a Shotzi guy. What can I say? Um, yeah, Ronda. They gave her some type of. I don't know. It ain't working for me. Gear is a big part of my my suspension of disbelief with wrestling. Like, if you come out looking as we'll talk about somebody returning in some some questionable gear, uh, I can't believe you. Rhonda, that's probably a part of the gimmick that her gear is so Jake. It's so generic. I'm like, oh, this is awful. We know Shotzi isn't going to win. And we know that Shotzi has had no, pretty much no good matches since being on the main roster. But NXT work was really good. <sighs> Support for Let Me Book to Territory is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Their products are precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped's performance package, the ultimate man hygiene bundle. Join over 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free shipping worldwide with the code territory at manscaped.com. And if my math is correct, that's about 14 million balls. Dang, a dub, that's a lot of balls, man. But you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code TERRITORY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code TERRITORY. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Manscaped. And I liked it. So I'm just going to be like, whatever. I don't care about this match, but I like Shotzi. So she come out with the cannon, shoot the cannon. I hope it hits uh, Ronda in the head and she can't compete. <laughs> That's it. Wow. That's my hope. And just, ah. boop. Oh, oh, shit. T-shirt cannon that, to the face. That would be Done. the best booking decision. Either. I, can't I think the, the best way to do that one, bro. So let's, let's have do, because you can't get a good match out of them, like you said. Let Shotzi... Take an ass whooping. Let Becky Lynch come back, assert her dominance, and then be the fifth member for the War Games match. That's Ooh. that's all that needs to happen. Oh, like that's we don't all... find out that tomorrow is that night. is coming up, guys. We, right, let, let let her be the one to take care of both of those. Be the War Games competitor and take the fucking you know you just yeah. Let's just do that. Female Rock can well, do that. I, I, not mad. Female, else? female rock. Yeah, female rock. I, I saw somebody say that on Twitter, and I agreed. So I'm yeah, that's a that, that was a Twitter thing. You didn't you didn't yeah, see yeah. that? They called her the female rock. They called her the female. I think rock it, as far as booking. Yeah, like, and because uh, she she asked the rock to borrow a move and shit like that, and people ran yeah, with it. It was yeah, man. it was yeah, yeah it, it, I get it. It was it, it, she, tomato tomato as but, far as but her aura. Her aura is much more stone cold to me. So. As the man, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But she ain't uh, the man right this... now. She's Hollywood, Bex, dog. So come on. She's now. coming back as the man, bro. Come on, stop, stop. You think she's coming back? Well, she has to because of the way she was booked as she left. She left as a baby face, shaking hands with mm -hmm. with uh Bianca. She so yeah, Bianca. she left right, beat up and enough. injured. Yeah, that. she's coming back as the man, bro. I give you that. It's, it's gonna happen. I saw. Are, are we all picking Ronda? I'm not. No, I was gonna pick Shotzi by disqualification. <laughs> I'm, a, 
Because okay. Shane, Shane's going to come in there and fucking choke out somebody so or choke out Shotzi. Please. So she'll win oh, by so disqualification. It okay. will keep I'm a hating ass dude towards Ronda Rousey, so I hope Shotzi beats her with an arm bar. I know it's not going to happen, <laughs> but I wild. just, I hope That'd it happens. Wild. I hope it does. I just hope it does. Uh, That'd be l- wild. At least you gave her a chance to wrestle. I'm, I'm hating. I just want her to get shot in the face with a cannon. <laughs> like E Ray wants a fucking shoot that accident to cannon. happen to take her out the, the cannon. cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants some t-shirts. <laughs> oh, like, shoot shit. that gun in her face. It is like, oops, oh gosh, that'd be great. That's and all the, I need. Because and a t-shirt has to be man. a Shotzi Championship t-shirt, right? <laughs> oh yeah, the ones they were sending to Africa. After this right, match, with the, with the 1991 <laughs> through three Buffalo Bills Super Bowl shirts. Yep, oh, there those. it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh well, while while we're there, because we we are already right there. Did anybody have any other predictions? Uh, that that or we all in the camp that it's going to be um, Bex for the the what fifth member of the war game, women's war games. I, yeah, if it's I, anybody else, I think I'd be a little disappointed at this point. There's really nobody that could fill that role. I know some people said Candice LeRae, which that would be pretty much a disappointment to me. But man, would I, I feel like we would have found like, out on I'm Raw out. though if it was. Candace I'm out. LeRae. Yeah, I'm out on that one. Absolutely, I'm out. I think you're gonna still be disappointed, Sean, because it's gonna probably be Liv Morgan. I'm. Oh I, my god! Um, get ready to be disappointed. Just, <laughs> Those are two names that will come up, and I'm like. Oh, I don't need to watch this. What I, I am mad. <laughs> physically, I was like, there's there's two names that would yeah. physically just take me out of it. It would be uh, Liv Morgan and it would have been uh, Candice LeRae. Uh, the two people that I would accept but still not love would be Becky or Charlotte. And then, Charlotte, I would of hate. Of course, the one that I want that I know I'm not getting. None of she gone. She I'm gone, working. bro. She I know. Gone. She out. It's okay. She posting like toxic quotes and shit. Like you can. Oh yeah. You man. can do better. She when, already, when the one you with don't want. She finally you, signed the you release don't want paper. The one you she with, she like, living yeah. her best life. You like wrestling fans. Really feel, we feel, this, feel, feel this breakup. We feel this breakup. Like damn. She she really gone, bro. Yeah, she gone. She done changed her hair color. You, you know, when your girl changed her hair color, there she gone forever. No, she gone. That's yeah, what, she belonged to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, she that's gone. what uh, Jay-Z should have said. Not not once a good girl's gone back. He said, when a, when a good girl changed her hair, oh, she gone forever. I was like, God damn. Yeah, you yeah, blonde, man? You no. blonde? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. Yeah, that's that's that all, all of us as WWE fans. She so. taking trips, I, selling I can... weed now. Like, uh, she gone. <laughs> man, yeah. like, gummies. <laughs> I'm high because WWE <laughs> doesn't govern me anymore. Black Panther, but man, she gone. She living a life. So. She gone. She, she start gone. posting mimosas at brunch. She's gone. She gone. <laughs> no right. more bangs. With, with that, no more advertising. With bangs. the one dude arm with the watch, you just see that tattooed arm in the watch in her snaps with the brunch. Like, <laughs> damn, she gone for good. She gone. Then she in like, the passenger oh, seat shit. of a BMW. Yeah, she gone. Yeah. yeah. She gone. Her poor, yeah. her yeah. poor boyfriend or. Significant other that used to make her outfits. With the he got no. Yeah, he brings the seamstress. That's such a disrespectful. Title. <laughs> Isn't that his title? <laughs> seamstress. It's just. Seamstress. It's like when seamstress. you say nurse to a male nurse type shit. That's just so disrespectful. <laughs> He's like, a man, call that man a medical professor. Seems there. <laughs> Seamus? I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah, man. Seamus. Use that in the male tits. Seamstress. Seamus. <laughs> I mean, what are you trying to say, B.A.? Dude stands no chance out in the streets? I'm just saying, man. I feel bad for whole boy. Hey, like, well, you, y'all yeah, talking yeah. about, yeah, that's not his arm in the pictures. That's, all that's not his watch. <laughs> he there still making costumes for, like, that. Lacey he, Evans or some shit. You like, saying he Roman Reigns <laughs> defending his world title in the Royal Rumble? This is this is this is he is no, Roman, Roman Reigns standing in the ring getting booed saying this is my yard like he's just going home. Bro. Everybody like shit. It's it's sad. All right, we gonna we gonna see. Man. I have to send that man a male performance package or something to keep make sure he's still fresh out here. <laughs> like keep him fresh. Dog, 20% off, Mr. Really off Mr. Sasha Banks. Twenty percent off territory. Territory, Mr. Sasha Banks. <laughs> Mr. His name is Mr. Wow. Banks. He changed his name. 
<laughs> wrestling. Hey, man. Twenty twenty two, man. It's progressive out here, man. Niggas be having hyphenated names and shit. You gotta be. I, I'm, I'm just being respectful. But her wrestling name <laughs> could never be oh me. But I'm just God. being respectful. I'm not married to my wife. I'm married to the character that she plays on television. <laughs> as as, as Dub would say, can he fight though? That's can all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I just, I'm asking for a friend. Can you fight? <laughs> Man, I feel bad. Sorry, Mr. Seamster, Mr. Sasha Banks, for dogging you like this. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I ain't mean to bring you in this, bro. You, your, your girl ain't even wrestling this weekend. You, we talk about you. I'm so sorry. Where, where were we? You brought it up. It was This is 100% you. E Ray brought I up forgot. Sasha Banks. <laughs> No, I you just are things I think about. You these are things I think up. about when, are, when I see all really these like you can't. <laughs> what? Oh man, it's going. It's red going. <laughs> oh, but I'm just saying. When I, as I see these posts and these tweets and shit, I be thinking like, damn, her, her poor husband, <laughs> her poor <laughs> dude in the background, <laughs> like just sitting there making outfits she never go wear. Like, look, he, babe, I made this. Is he it's the dude? So, what's like, look, babe? Can't you forget it. Out of it, out of like, Jason David hey, Frank, I made you, this green and white outfit for you, babe. Are you gonna wear it? No, I don't do that shit anymore, babe. I'm out here. I got a fucking red carpet to walk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he has not stopped laughing sorry. for five minutes. No. I'm oh my god. I'm changing it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm man. just saying. Shit. Things, high thoughts that come in my mind when I be scrolling on Twitter, I'm like, damn, her husband is Saudi. Like, she just out here. He has no value anymore. Oh, right. I hope he does he other things. The, right he now. wasn't at the Black Panther premiere. Yeah, he, he wasn't. wasn't. Right. That, that, that nigga went back side. to middle class in 24 hours. <laughs> they said, hey. Hold the purse. Hold the purse. <laughs> hey, you, you. You right there. Can you move, move to the left? Yeah. I see you forgetting Man, Sharon back, Marshall. I know how that was. Stand to the left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, me. Oh. Uh, yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Crop his ass out of every <laughs> He doing uh, bunny ears. Mercedes Seamster. <laughs> Y'all ain't Holy right. Shit. Oh, <laughs> that man is gonna find us in the street and beat the shit. Please don't we start to make a real name for yeah, ourselves. Like, I'm sorry. This is BA. I didn't mean to bring it up, brother. I'm sorry. I got, I got you on a, I got you on a, a sewing needle and beat your ass. I got you on a mill 4.0 performance package, bro. I got you. Just don't cup for oh me, please. God. All right, cause I think we just got the war games match. <laughs> That's yeah, the real war games. B A. Yeah, the war. Mr. But wait, Banks. both war games. <laughs> uh, Mr. Banks, you imagine that Titan Drop picture? That's my oh WrestleMania man. <laughs> he gonna have a, a needle and thumb in, or needle and thread in his hand. <laughs> Pro. Dog, that's he the real like scripts. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop! Back though. No. That was ass. That was legitimate ass, bro. It look that mask looks like a flamboyant Pentagon Junior, bro. Oh, like man. that that, that, that gimmick. mask looks like a fucking circus tent. <laughs> Didn't have time to. Where Shawn is Mr. Michaels is definitely at? back on that shit. That shit was shit, not yo. fitted. It was like well, we got this in the back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right. oh, script. <laughs> Wait, what? Generic 2K luchador mask. Right, man. Like, you want to create a 2K ass wrestler? Get off my TV. Bro, I Bro. thought he was a cyberpunk person. It's like, all of a sudden, he's a poet. It's like, <laughs> Scripps, the poet. He comes out, don't you know it? I was like, oh. what the fuck am I watching? Shawn Michaels. He, wow, doing that, he doing that original Roman Reigns <laughs> check sign. <laughs> right. I blame Bruce Prichard, oh but I know he ain't calling no shots back there no more. This is Shawn Michaels. That is all Shawn Michaels. 100%. I don't know if he got... Sweet. Mr. Yeah. Legends of the Hidden NXT World title is doing all of this. Absolutely. Oh, my God. I don't know who said it, but that was the most dead on arrival gimmick I've seen in a while. It, oh my dead God. on arrival. I don't know what they did like, in the Reggie. I think they're trying to get these dudes like, fired. Mess, That's all I can think of. They Why would you do that to that on, man? Like, I'm I'm sorry, guys. We we just pivoted straight to the shit <laughs> that I've been wanting to get to for like an hour. What the fuck? Why <laughs> you can't approve that? Like, I, no one seen him in Gorilla was like, 
Yes. That's, it. That's the one right there, bro. That's the one. The oh, they got to have backstage like, like, like ma- footage of him <laughs> in, in fucking Gorilla. Like, like Shawn Michaels and Road Dog. Like, that's it, baby. That's, that's it. it. Talk that that's script the shit. one. You talk that shit. Get out there. It was, Put on a fucking banger. A collar, a, a bright orange flamboyant collar, like Halloween colors. Uh, like a fluff. Uh, man, it was so much shit going on. I was like, what is this? <laughs> None of this works for me. And I was like, and how does this correlate or translate to poet? They, I don't it get looks it. like they, they cut the top out of like a cat in a hat hat, <laughs> and then they tried to make it look like the mask from Crash Bandicoot at the same time. <laughs> oh, the Boogaboo <laughs> guy? Oh, that's Boogaboo terrible. Guy. That's what it looks like. <laughs> that's even worse. Duh. That was, I and you know, everybody who listens to this show knows how I felt about Axiom. He just made Axiom look like fucking '97 Rock <laughs> coming out with that shit. <laughs> like the fuck. The pop for Axiom is unreal in comparison to Scripps doing this walking the tightrope. Unbelievable. Uh, Are you guys ready to see Scripps get his ass whooped? Are you guys ready for Scripps versus Axiom at NXT Deadline? What? That's the seven? Yes. For the intros alone. For the intros alone. Nick. Oh my God. Listen here. Yeah. Axiom's ass moving like a fucking vampire. He's doing all this fucking Matrix. Little Kim movements and shit. And <laughs> they have to do a standoff got... like Rock and Hogan at WrestleMania 18 and just look oh. at the crowd and look at each other in those weird oh. ass masks. Sign me up. Sign me so up. Let confused. me book it. You know what? You just you just got me. I just for the shenanigans alone. I just need to see the world burn. Triple H, have you have my phone in, number. In a, Let me in book the crowd. It. Fight forever. <laughs> and they did nothing. Just Fight mask forever. on mask crime. Oh my God. I need that now. Fight I didn't know forever. I needed Axiom versus fucking Scripps. <laughs> Scribbles. This nigga's name is Scribbles. I, I can I'm just so see mad. the tweet now. This Tuesday, oh, okay. the first of a best of seven series. Axiom and Scripps. <laughs> I'm so mad. I, hey, that would main event impact, though, so it's not that bad. God, damn. damn. <laughs> and, and, and not even like a real match. One of them theatrical matches where they end up yes. doing fucking like, <laughs> Capoeira or some shit. Like a, like oh a Power God. Rangers like, foot putty scene where they just beat the <laughs> shit out of the putty. <laughs> Scripps is like fighting his <laughs> way through the Matrix to get the Axiom. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Oh. Scripps is like fucking sparks coming off of his pen and right into a man's chest oh. like Zoro. I need it. I, let me book this shit. Like, just <laughs> why did why did they have a mask on him? I have so many questions. <laughs> Halloween is over. That's how this stupid is literally they leftovers from the spirit store. I don't understand what happened. <laughs> like, my, I'm so mad. Like, I, I, I really wanted to. Like, I thought Scripps was a woman. To first, and I, I've been saying that for I was like, oh, you have been, a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it was close. It was Reggie. So Reggie. I was like, who would have oh, called man, Reggie was, of all, all the rest? I would never, no, never would have never. Thought he was gone Reggie. after the twenty four seven title thing with and Dana. I would have been okay divorce. if he came out like Reggie. Whatever they gave him was so throwaway. That is the most generic set of. Stuff that you start out with before you do any like in game transactions in WWE 2K anything. Like it was, it's so bad. Please, Sean, Sean Michaels, if you're listening to me, we I know, know you listen. listen. You're an avid listener of the podcast. Please make adjustments to um, Axiom's good right now. It's cool. I- I'm, I'm good with him. If you can't do anything else, make sure Scripps takes off that goofy ass mask. <laughs> <laughs> like either get him a fitted mask or some make him excuse me cut the locks you know you know how they like to do black people make him cut the locks and just put on a fitted mask or something or just don't have him wear a mask it's not like NXT would be like that's Reggie they're like oh it's your scripts now whatever but 
I don't understand anything that was going on with that. That was so bad. And I'm hoping because Reggie actually will work in like, honestly, his moveset works for NXT. Correct. Just I changed agree. the worst looking gear I've ever seen. And <laughs> ever. I look at Von Wagner every week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, though. I'm, I'm so mad. Okay. No. I, I, I got to lay off. Real, I, I had to get that out of my chest. That's so, fair. Let's, it has let's, to be. Let's book out this last match for Survivor Series. Let's dub had another point about... No, I was just going to say, I mean, like, if WWE really wants, you know, a new mass <laughs> superstars, they can always just sign some mass superstars. There's yeah, plenty man. of them out there. Plenty Tons. of them out there. They missed um, out on, on one recently, Bandito. They were trying to get him. That's that's the AEW Neckbeard's first, like, win in the war against Triple H. They just throwing it up like, we got him. We got Bandito. We didn't get him. All right. right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, yeah. But, yeah, all, all we got left is the War Games matches. Um, let's go. Let's start with the men's match. I'm booking, you know, I feel like the Bloodline is actually going to lose this, and I think it's going to be Jay Uso taking the pin. Thus leading to, you know, the Civil War you guys kind of broke down a little bit. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm going Jay Oso takes the pen from a pop-up powerbomb or stunner from Kevin Owens. Mm. B.A., what are you thinking? I'm, I'm, as much as I want to be, like, against the grain and devil's advocate. You want to be a contrarian? No contrarian? I can't disagree with that. Like, it's the only thing that makes sense to where this thing needs to get. Um... The one thing, everybody was talking about how bad Raw is. I think Raw is thirsting for a championship on that, a heavyweight championship on that show, man. That's what's really the missing, like, piece that they need. Um, and we got to figure out a way to get there immediately. And the way that makes sense is Jey Uso. We all think Sammy going, like, that's that's too, like, obvious, like y'all said earlier. Exactly, exactly. The Jay thing makes complete sense. So I can't go against the grain on that idea. It makes too much sense. You right, man. You got it. Uh, just because I have to, you know me. Yeah, here Gotta we go. Be the wild card. Um, I think there's a way where you can make the brawling brutes lose and play on the fact that it's because you know they're the brawling brutes and KO and uh, Drew McIntyre. Like they're literally five technically individuals or you know one team and right. the rest of the guys so I, I would be okay with that um i know everybody is like we need that dissension to start somehow it can start in the match and like jay hitting uh jay hitting roman on accident or or, or him and sammy have a little bit of mistime stuff they still pull out the win but that causes that little like weird kind of look between the two. You got to have Roman at the end talking mad shit per usual. That's his new thing. We love it. He's just talking all kinds of crazy mad shit to the camera almost inaudibly. Love that. And then that's how you start the dissension. And then Friday, you start to go ahead and have him address the crowd and address the family. Okay. And then that's how we get there. So I'm, I'm going to pick... Uh, the bloodline win again, but a little bit of dissension happens through through the match. Not mad at that. Not mad at that. E Ray going with the greatest faction of all time. Um, Sean, who you going with? Lies. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> so I think there's gonna be a bunch of chaos going on within the bloodline. They're definitely gonna lose. Um, that that's my prediction. They're definitely gonna lose. Jay's most likely either going to cause somebody to take the pin or he's going to be the one to take the pin himself because this would be the perfect time like i was saying earlier to start the dissension of the entire faction and get ready for roman to drop the belt unless they go unless they're going to keep it on him for another year then start it now just get it over with by the time wrestlemania rolls around in what four five months or so mm -hmm. five months yep five months yeah five months uh you got survivor series now and then another thing a lot of people don't really realize uh, you know og wwe wwf people know survivor series is a big four pay-per-view or a premium live event now that they call it 
So everything big always happens on the big pay-per-view. So you could probably expect them to start, you know, tasting the loss a little bit and get used to it so they can drop these fucking belts off. Because of okay. he's going on a Hogan run right now, and I'm good on that. <laughs> Not mad at that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the dissension starts, and it starts with this match, and that's how somehow we get to Rock Roman because we need it. It has to happen. But last match we're going to book, and then we're going to get up out of here because B.A. wants to go see his family. We're just keeping them hostage. No, wait, 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 got some wait, wait, drinking wait. to do. Don't, don't even I, I get don't, that. don't try to make we that sound speak. wholesome. I, I love you, but and B.A., I love your family. But God damn it, if we don't talk about one of the most fantastic NXTs I've seen in a while, I'm going to shit a brick. I might just sit here. Let's by do it. I'll let we got go. time. I will I got, talk about that shit. We got oh, time, we got man. Time? Shit, I'm, I, I'm Listen, a grown up. Let's go. What they gonna black say to me? Black I run this shit. I'm ba DVIC out here. I, they can't do ain't shit. Ain't no until way we I got say four. So. Four black men include this black box counts. <laughs> it's black box counts. It's <laughs> Tell a black man. <laughs> 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 There's no way we're gonna leave without talking about black on black champion. This man, that's that's black excellence. Facts. Like, I mean, we here for it. Come on now. Agreed. You are sold out already. Be- I, I, I sold out a long time ago, but we ain't gonna talk know, about that. Yeah, I was talking about you know dub, but dub is already branded. So what? I see it. See it on, <laughs> Come on, what? See it on your chest. Twenty percent off, guys. What? Yes. 100%. Dub, dub, dub is wearing story. our good partner shirt this arm. evening. Um, twenty percent off on their website at all times. Manscape.com. Yeah. With you the, see the, the discount code. Code territory. <laughs> territory. By the time you guys hear this, it will be Black Friday. We'll get it there. Yeah. Fact, By the time fact, you guys are hearing fact. this, it will be Black Friday. They will be doing a sale on the website. So do not forget to go to manscaped.com. Use the code TERRITORY for 20% off. But yes, E-Ray, one of the greatest NXT free television matches I've ever seen. Um, Wesley That's Mello what? put on a show. Preach. E. Can, can I say, I, can I say, this gave me... And I, I said it, I, I don't know if I tweeted it, I said it in the group chat. This was very reminiscent of uh, a Brett, Sean in the making. And I was like, oh my God. It's high praise. I feel the vibes. This is early, but this could be something I could watch for years to come. Like the chemistry was there. They told a really good story. The fact that you had like, crazy move i'm like what the fuck was that i don't even know what i'm just i don't know what i'm watching <laughs> wesley went on a run that i'm just like oh okay they they just can they're capable now and there's like oh we actually got like dance partners that can keep up so electric boogaloo time motherfucker this is going down <laughs> i was like oh shit i'm in the crowd like oh i'm hype as fuck like this is incredible to me and presentation i was like this is what WWE, unfortunately, I hate to bring the tribalism into play, but I love that WWE can do this, and it's very apparent when you watch AEW that they're not there yet. It's They have the ability to make a match feel larger than life, and it's like this is a random Tuesday, and it's not like oh, big pay-per-view or anything. They ain't been building up forever. It's just like, alright, this is the champion. This is a guy who once had a championship. We've seen plenty of stuff on AEW that should have had this type of feel, but never does. They make us feel like this is something special. I was talking about this the other week with the ta- the TikTok tag team versus uh, Zoe and uh, Nikita Lyons. That also had that feel. I don't know what it is. It's the sauce. It's the magic little something that they do in, in WWE that just makes shit feel larger than life. Mm-hmm. Even if you're like, even if you're not supposed to care about it, you end up caring about it. I'm watching Wesley, who's had, he just got the championship. They built him up. Great. But nowadays in the position, you're like, oh, he's performing. You got, um, excuse me, Carmelo Hayes that they, they have Trick doing excellent work now. We've, we've clowned Trick for months about his, his type of dialogue. And now he's gotten so good at his character. He dialed in. He knows exactly what he is. He's a 70s black exploitation character. And it's amazing. Let me tell you and something, Job like, Turkey. Right. What? <laughs> me? He don't need me. He don't need nobody. He's the man. He is him. I was like, great. Love it. And then 
you do all the build up stuff right then you have these guys go in the ring and just pull the cord fucking Beyblades. these motherfuckers just <laughs> slapping into each other crazy shit's happening like oh god damn I, I i can't speak highly enough i thought this shit was incredible am i am i alone in this Please, somebody save me from the hyperbole machine. Nah, bro, you you, nah, you are abs- absolutely correct. For a free TV match on a random Tuesday that was built over what? Like, not even, not, not even what? A couple weeks? Two weeks, like, maybe. Yeah, yeah, a couple yeah. weeks, bro. That That's that's something that is really special that they can put on for something that's considered a C-show. That right. even from Triple H's mouth was technically developmental even though now you can't even say it's a developmental show when it's putting up numbers against, you know, AEW's second show, you know, legitimately. And having matches of that caliber out of nowhere, essentially, with only two weeks of buildup. I mean, there's been matches in other promotions that have taken months and shit's falling flat. So to pull off bangers like this, especially with, cause I'm a Carmelo uh, Hayes fan. Dude is just a phenomenal wrestler. I th- I thought personally he should have went to the main roster already, but I think they're gonna save that for the draft whenever they are, you know, whenever they do plan to do that. That would probably be the best time to debut him on the main roster. But yeah, nah, free TV match that was uh, just phenomenal, and I don't I don't know how they pulled that off in a couple weeks, but bravo, it was great. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you you're right, Sean. Like the. NXT is not developmental anymore. I mean, any brand that has scripts cannot be a developmental brand. (laughs) (laughs) You kidding me? Put them over. I just want to say, Wesley finished that match with a Falcon Arrow, and they they did the thing where like they ruined one of the greatest jokes in wrestling that no one kicks out of the Falcon Arrow when everybody kicks out of the Falcon Arrow, and he didn't kick out. I'm not gonna lie, I was sending them. I was sitting on my couch watching it. Like, he did the Falcon Arrow. I was like, oh, we got five more minutes of this match because he just did a Falcon Arrow. And it was just over. I was like, wait, it's over? It's what, over. What you're forgetting, what you're forgetting is the barrage before the Falcon Arrow because he hit him about 17 things. Oh, yeah, he, he did that crazy-ass flip oh, kick oh. and, like, all this other shit. I was like, oh, I was like, 35-hit combo, killer instinct, totally. Yeah. But then he hit a Falcon Arrow, and I was like, oh, we got five more minutes of banger left. Then it just ended. I was like, wait, but no. Yeah. <laughs> my, my wrestling brain is getting ready to break. Right. Someone didn't kick out of the Falcon Arrow? He was ready, like, too sweet. I was. No. <laughs> it's over. I was, but no, that damn, damn. that match was great. Um, how do you guys feel about Dijak making his comeback at the end of the match? And they're calling yeah. him Dijak again. I'm here for it. My you. God, thank Is God the name changed went away because that shit was ass. <laughs> you, Sean, what, what, you didn't like it? Was he? The the old gimmick, not at all. Oh, the old gimmick. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I, I said. You thank God, like the return. I like yeah. this reincarnation. No, I said thank God. Yeah, thank Wearing God. The old name went away because wire. that. Yeah, bro. That <laughs> T- uh, Mace T Bar. T Bar. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. Good, We're not gonna talk about poor Mace, but yeah, T Bar. Mace, Mace, killing it. Lord, that gimmick is amazing. By the way, I love it now. I love that shit. I, I love that shit. Well, I got, yes, they finally just leaned into it. They leaned into it so great that it did it did a, a one eighty. So I'm I'm with it now. But so yes, now now Dijak as, is back. He has the evil man goatee. So we know he's a heel. Yeah, he has so much uh, uh, hymns or just for men, all types of die. <laughs> I swear, I thought that Beijing was gonna just leak all over Wesley. Yeah, he better, I was like, he better hope in, that. Like, what? Said, he better hope it don't his hair. He don't sweat too much, man. That shit going That's gonna be bad. Oh, right out. Look, right. I was like, if he sweats anymore, he's gonna literally be like Blade. Like he had the jacket already. <laughs> at. That shit start raining down his face. Like blackface? No, <laughs> stay away. But it was incredible. I'm so excited for him. I thought he's gonna hit him with the feast your eyes. I was like, I was so excited to hear it because it's been so long. He did the the bangers. What, the, the actual saying it. He oh, say it. oh yeah. I it, w- I it wouldn't like, shock me if like if they like renamed that, that that move, and like because that's not the gimmick anymore. I don't care. Him versus Keith Lee versus Damian Priest. Some of the greatest fun I've ever had just watching 
NXT. I'm like, these dudes are so ginormous. They should not be able to do anything that I'm watching right now. Yeah. BA, if you don't have anything to do over this weekend, go back and watch uh, Dijak versus Keith Lee 1 and 2. Dijak versus Keith Lee versus Priest. It's just nuts. It'll blow your mind. But I'm so happy he's back. Uh, Perfect way to set up. And again, telling us and showing us why the North American Championship is the best book championship in wrestling. Facts. Easy. It's my favorite. It's been that way for since inception. (laughs) I mean, they've, they've had like one and a half missteps. Yeah. One and a half missteps. That's all I'm saying. But uh, other than that, um, Wendy Chu, I, I'm really sad. I love me some Chu. I don't understand things the crying. Are, are what, what's the crying? Because they're there. Because something's about to happen. She's about to shed yeah. some more of that persona. She keeps coming more and more out of the shell. First, she wasn't talking. Then she was always happy doing goofs. And now she's just getting her ass beat. But she's she's so fun. She's, I love she's her. gonna go back to being I, the I um, what you call no. it? The, no, okay. <laughs> the ring, ring you. Yeah, ring you. <laughs> no, <laughs> none of that. Okay. Um, I, I do have to ask before we get out of here. There was uh things are happening. Uh, Caden Carter was out there, and them versus Toxic Attraction, part seven. Are y'all hype on that? No. Low on it. No. no. This is no. Nah, this that's... is the problem with having a women's tag team titles and not building an actual women's tag division. Oh, so you hate women. No. Got it. No. No. <laughs> no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I told me Yim not to Crazy, say anything though. last I week, and not. No, nope, we're not doing that. But they didn't See? build this division at all, so you just have these two teams going back and forth, back and forth. And then you had a third team, and like they kind of put it together, and we were like, eh, okay. And then they broke that up because clearly they had bigger plans for Nikita Lions. Um, I mean, did you? BA, are you back? <laughs> you back in the Lions? Is the Lions damn <laughs> back open? Listen, no. Because apparently, so the much gear, so. I was about to make change. a controversial tweet earlier, but I held myself back. I was about oh to Thank God. call out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gear I was, change. I, I stopped myself. I was, I was like, no, this is going to be a little too much. I don't got time to argue with people. Scripps about this needs to hit up Nikita and ask her who makes her gear because the gear change works for her. Good Lord. He needs to do we, something. We cannot Good deny God. that yeah. about Nikita. Oh. Be, about, be <laughs> over here about to fold like fresh laundry. Um, I, man, I'm nervous like about that WrestleMania. We all make that trip to Hollywood, man. I'm, I'm going to I'm have, to, I'm have my wife there to catch me because I'm going to be like, look, man, you got to keep me together. You can do what you want, especially <laughs> just keep me together. Just hold my hand. Exactly. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lyons. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lyons. Like, hi, how are you doing? Who right. do I make this autograph out to? I love my wife. <laughs> I love I'm me. sorry, baby. <laughs> Help me. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Hmm. Yeah, oh, but, um. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, yeah. I, I'm very happy about Zoe Stark versus Nikita Lyons. Somehow they got me back. Things are working. I think Zoe Stark being like berserk heel is working for me. I've never liked Zoe Stark since she arrived. Her gear is finally up to par, mm-hmm. and her attitude is matching. Am I am I crazy? Is this not like? I don't I don't know. I have to gauge it because I know I'm the wild one here. Is mm-hmm. is, is it? I wasn't mad no, at it. it, it, I'm, it not, I'm not all the way in yet, but I wasn't mad at it. I see where they're going, and I'm like, I'm, I'm going to give it two weeks. Definitely an improvement. Definitely an improvement, though. Yeah. She oh, said, yeah, for sure. I'm undeniable. And I was like, yep. I'm in. <laughs> She's a rage monster, and she looks the part. I'm so excited. <laughs> she just It just feels she right. She just man. woke up feeling know. undeniable. I mean, I get it. I totally get it. Hey, can't deny That's cool. it. Yeah. That's cool. Well. Other than that, I think everything else of NXT can be saved for another for another trip. You don't want to talk about um, um, Apollo having Big another body vision? Oh, I was like, Big Body Javi, I'm in. All day. Oh, yeah. All Big, give, give Big Body Javi all the belts. 100%. All of them. Everyone. The women's tag belts. All of them. 
Just <laughs> him versus the the TikTok tag team. Love it. <laughs> Caden Carter. Mm. Uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, what'd you say? The uh, vision. Look, I don't know if Apollo Cruz is the Oracle or not. I just don't get it. But I love he's it. He's the equalizing the Oracle. I thought he was the equalizer, but now he's just having visions of the future. I don't know how this works, but I will. I popped when I seen him see a vision of himself as champion. I was hoping that the belt looked different because he could see into the future, but that shit was still like mad graffiti rainbow color. So that's a, that's I, a very strange day at work. All right, Apollo. So you, we're gonna take you to a diner and just film you drinking some coffee, and then we're gonna bring you back to the performance center and like take pictures of <laughs> yeah. you holding the belt. <laughs> all right, um, that's all we got for you for Wednesday, buddy. You can go home after that. Right. It's a weird day right. at work. Like, well, <laughs> at least I didn't get my eyes gouged out today. <laughs> like, just another day at the job, honey. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Like, what? The... Like, I don't know. As long as I was working, honey, they let than... me hold the belt. <laughs> they took me to a diner and get some coffee. I got to hold it. <laughs> right. I got the hold. You hold it. You hear it. You taste it. That's a fucking Diet Pepsi championship. Oh it's just gonna be lit, man. It's a weird day. If work, he wins, man. that's all I'm saying. If he wins and the fucking uh, Nigerian accent slips out, I will pop so hard because you hold it. alternatively, you hold it. Or, <laughs> alternatively, we got. <laughs> I can't even fucking be. That's so funny. That was hilarious. It was a a a. a a low Rosen response. It was great. Um, oh. I had to listen to Braun Breaker explain Bassmaster 64 to me. And I was like, nigga, I don't care. What hey, are you doing? I don't fish. Like, you know you what? You know your audience? <laughs> Maybe he does. Wow. That's weird. And I say that was the most likable thing he's done out of all his promos. <laughs> It was the least, it was the only one he wasn't screaming at us. So I guess you're right. Yeah, I mean. Ah, what? I'll do everything. Steiner, man. I was like, all right. Relax, it's kind of in his bro. DNA to be, you know, aggressive as shit and loud. So they should just let him do Steiner math every, every time he does a promo. I would be all in for that. That would be a good gimmick. Put chain mail on him for no reason. He'd be like, you got some mail. And he'd be like, where is it? And then they put it on his head. It was like, oh, so great. Do like the, uh, do like the dude did with uh, he slapped Jay Lethal and turned him into Black Machismo. Mm. Get one of them yeah, to slap did. his back and he turns into Scott Steiner or something like that. Holla, hilarious. If I'm, you hear me, I'm down. <laughs> do you, how, would you pop if you heard the Scott Steiner music and saw Braun Breaker walk out and change? Oh yeah, like that? my oh my god, shit. <laughs> yeah. for for Deadline. Yes, I he came out with the, the the silver chain uh, helmet. If, oh God. If the big pop up up tights. It'd be hilarious. Yes. That would Silver be fucking hilarious. With the blonde hair. Yeah. I lose my mind. Blonde goatee. That, like, you gotta go full. You gotta go big, full style. You gotta go full daddy. daddy. Like, Absolutely. You gotta yeah, go full Yeah, because it's game. deadline. Like, they, they do the like the Titan Tron of a countdown on the, whatever deadline clock they got, and then. Yeah. Woo! Holler! <laughs> if you hear me! Oh, what? At that point, I'm keep the belt crazy. forever. <laughs> I would lose my fucking shit. I don't even know why. Like for no reason. I'm like, all right, well, you're not you're not losing anytime soon. Oh god, but, yeah. Yeah. And I hate Brown Breaker. Like everyone knows I despise Brown Breaker. I have legitimately booked every single person, no matter how unbelievable it is, to beat Brown Breaker. Because I'm just like, no, this has to happen eventually. I all right, who, who's next? Yes, he's winning. When I was there. I watched in Dallas when uh, when uh, Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler took that belt off him. I went fucking nuts. The kids were crying. I'm like, in your fucking face. <laughs> yes. Yes. You don't. Do I am. I went fucking nuts. And E-Ray's been and chasing like, that feeling ever since. Ever since. Him to lose the it. high. It's working him the to high. lose. <laughs> yes, and I and I've never and I'm never satisfied. McDonough has let me down. Tyler uh, Bate. Tyler Bate has let me down. Um, everybody, just man after man after man. So I've I've been disgusted. So unless he comes out as the big bad booty daddy, no, I'm, I'm done. I need Apollo to take that belt, change it back to the prestigious gold, 
and and just ride out because he looks the part. He is probably the only person, the only other person I can see is if they're gonna go mellow. That is it. That's the only way I'm like He's mellow or die jack. There we He's go. Sorry, I, I, correction. Mellow or die jack. Those are the only two people I would be fine if Apollo loses, and those two end up actually with the belt. Other than that, I am furious. Just facts. Saying. Facts. But with that, guys, we can finally close this beautiful holiday episode of Let Me Book the Territory. It's been a pleasure. Sean, please tell them where they can find you at and all your greatness. It is only on Twitter. That's the only place you're going to find me on. It's Fourth Rope Wrestling, man. I'm on there a lot, even though I do got a full-time job, but I talk a lot of shit, especially with uh, BA over here on the Let Me Book the Territory account. So, yeah, you can find me there, interact, you know. Looking forward to seeing y'all. Love it. Love it. Absolutely. I love all the, the random commentary that I just pop up on Twitter. Like, what is happening? They are causing <laughs> chaos. Let me jump in here and try to deflect some of this heat from BA talking about fucking trolls. Let me educate you. <laughs> Four oh, broke yeah. said. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> it's like, everything's fine. Fire all around us. <laughs> so... If you guys want to be a part of that, please follow Fourth Rope Wrestling and uh, let me book the territory because BA is a madman. It's all yes. him. It's yes. only him. Yes. Wink, and wink. I'll, so I'll, all the. <laughs> <laughs> no, no wink, winks. Full blinks here. You can um, bring all that heat to me at Let Me Book Pie. Um, yeah. Fuck those neck beards that was coming after me this weekend. Shout Fuck out em. to um, who runs the handle strictly for the culture. Just was trying to educate some people. We weren't trying to say Look, who's right or edu- wrong. When a black right. man says, I'm trying to educate you, just run. The Koofy is out. Oh, I'm yeah. It was out heavy. <laughs> I'm black and I'm black and black and black and black. Like, shout out to CB4. <laughs> <laughs> Let's let here, my brother. Know. Right, I was, and I, 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 I'll, I'll say I was making a little troll energy. Like I started off as more troll energy, but motherfuckers was tripping. I'm like, wait a minute, sobered dude. up real quick. Like I just made a I comment. I was just joking, motherfucker. That's it. You right, know, now, if y'all want to get into it, transatlantic slave trade. Right. Was, I was like, oh, God, what's <laughs> yeah, when I read <laughs> slave now, trade, I was like, oh god, oh god. Yep. I might, I might yeah, have to change right. the password on this account for like 12 hours. <laughs> oh god. Because <laughs> <laughs> losing it. All right, not on hey. Elon Twitter. You know, you took I was the wrong about to time say, to the I, I forgot what social <laughs> media platform crazy. I was at. Right, oh, shame. But Woo. to all of well. that said, come follow us because it's pure insanity. At Let Me Book Pie. Um, shout out to, to right. you, Sean, at Fourth Rope uh, Wrestling. You consistently putting us over, bro. Keep uh, keep passing the message. We appreciate it. Um, everybody else that I interact with on there on the regular, keep keep the funnies coming. Y'all keep me rolling on a daily basis with the ridiculousness, just tie-ins from wrestling to other things that I find funny between music, porn jokes. It's all funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> keep it coming, please. Yep, Glory uh, House is now a thing. <laughs> Glory House. <laughs> I do hey not guys. even want to know what glory a glory house, house is. I probably get me fired for my nine to five. Um, Thanksgiving special, yeah, glazed and stuff. Oh god, no! Not, not a discount code. It's, everything's and fine. Everything's, uh, <laughs> everything's fine. Glazed and stuff code, is not yeah. a discount code. Yeah. Territory is, but not glazed and stuff. But with that being said, come follow <laughs> us at Let Me Book Five. I'm saying it. And, <laughs> and, and Dub, please get me out of this situation. That'll probably ladies get me and, in a penalty okay. box. In most ladies situations. and gentlemen, um, as we leave the glory house, just want to let you guys know <laughs> if you are looking for me, you can find me at ADUB1220 on all social medias. Um, Sean, it's been a pleasure having you on. Guys, don't forget that wrestling is everything and everything is wrestling. When you see me Everything. out, just hit me with the two sweet. Go to manscaped.com. Use the code territory. Get your 20% off on Black Friday, on Cyber Monday, on Survivor Series Saturday, on Back to Work Tuesday. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. And yeah. And follow me. Tuesday. Follow me on everything. E underscore R-A-Y, the hipster on the, was it the Instagram? No, no, no that's the Twitter. That's Twitter. Excuse me. And then 
E underscore R A Y, the bad guy on IG. I am the one and only Wayward Son. Follow me. There'll be peace when I am done. But other than that, guys, we are out to sweep me if you see me, but you won't because I'm a black square motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you hot up ass. No, I'm just like. <laughs>